All right, hey guys. Now is the um, ninth session of Sin and Skullduggery. It's the penultimate episode. For those who don't know, it's the second to the last episode. It's essentially finale part one. I'm I'm trying to ex I'm trying to make sure that yeah you know, this is the beginning of the end, guys. So that's what this episode is all about. Some characters may die, but they also may not die, or they could all die. I really do not know, but we'll find out now in the next maybe three hours or four hours. It really depends. But anyway, moving on to recap what happened in the previous session. Uh, Overshadow retreated after failing to stop Golgotha's arrival in Skullduggery City. The entire island is now filled with monsters, and to combat this, the Skullduggery unleashed their skeleton army to counter this. The entire island was also sucked into the Feywild and is now a part of Golgotha's domain, which prevents a lot of people from leaving even if they wanted to. However, um, after a few investigations, the party discovered that they can plane shift out of there. And so uh, the party also eventually learned uh, with the help of the mayor and the rest of the Skullduggery leaders that um, one way to kill Golgotha is to uh, use magic from the Tablet of Vitro because apparently Golgotha removed his name from it many centuries ago, which made him immortal and therefore di difficult to kill. So, uh, Overshadow uh, learned from recent intel that one of their contacts, Ronin, is in, Exor in, uh, in, a pl in the country Exoria, where the tablet is located, and they decided to meet up with him over there and have a chat with the pharaoh of Exoria. Uh, with, uh, every, with, thanks to you know, a bit of diplomacy, the group was able to convince the pharaoh to let them have access to the tablet. However, uh, they still needed to know the true name of Golgotha because that is not the Arcface true name. One way they can only find it is by speaking to someone that Golgotha knows, but has been dead for a very long time. Thankfully, the mayor who accompanied them knows of a necromancy ritual that lets her summon the spirit of Golgotha's wife, uh, Luna Lee, who was a champion of the goddess Vida, and was the person responsible for essentially kicking Golgotha out of Baron and locking him in the Feywild. So Overshadow was able to uh, assist with the ritual by fighting off a bunch of ghosts that were trying to disturb the mayor while she was summoning Luna Lee's spirit, and they were able to do so successfully. And they were able to have a chat with Luna Lee, and Luna Lee revealed to them that the true name of Golgotha is Adam Calvary. Since Overshadow has access to Golgotha's true name, they're able to work the magic of, uh, of being able to take away Golgotha's immortality. And they also used a piece of the Abrogate Arbor to forge a dagger with Ronin's help to, um, to essentially stab Adam Calvary with it and render his immortality useless. So with the one weapon that can help them obtain their victory, the plane shifted back to Skullduggery Island. And right now, uh, we are on the 46th day of Green Sprout, season of spring. Monsters still continue to ravage Skullduggery City. Uh, however, the Skeleton Army, they use efficient battle tactics to retake parts of the city while the monsters rely on brute force and sheer numbers. So there's a bit of a quality versus quantity happening throughout, this, uh, throughout the city. Other mercenaries and adventurers 
as well as other creatures have also popped in in the island to like uh see to contain this um this chaos before it like bleeds out to, to the rest of Maitan and the other continents and uh while that is happening tanda town is still uh present in the island maintaining its defenses providing uh, a base of operations for for everyone who wants safety and who wants to like fight against uh Golgotha's monsters uh you overshadow you have relocated you three within tanda town's domain you're inside the your your mansion which is inside you three and you're having one final battle strategy with the leaders of skullduggery and here is the map i'll be changing it now so yeah everyone is here and uh you're all gathered at this uh at the dining area basically uh discussing strategies and uh the mayor she's presenting uh using some illusion magic she's presenting like some holograms and some other visuals to show you the situation of what's happening in the city now while while the rest of our shadow was in exoria um bright moon who was not present with them in the exoria trip she stayed behind here and was doing a bit of spy work to at least you know contribute to um uh helping how to uh sneak to sneak in and like perform this assassination mission so sorka you and your father along with uh dozens of spies were um were able to infiltrate the the floating island the island that's essentially floating on top of Skaldagri Island, where the castle of Golgotha is, uh, is, is set up on. So you guys did like a, a short scouting mission, looking around at the city. Uh, however, you were able to obtain some good information. However, some of you guys were attacked by monsters guarding the city. Uh, a bunch of the spies died, unfortunately. But you and your father were able to escape just fine because a warrior was able to save you at the last minute. And this warrior decided to accompany you guys and help overshadow to uh, fight this uh, creature. And uh, the, the leaders of Skaldagri are also aware of this mercenary who helped you and decided to also... Um, request for his help for this assassination mission so uh to uh get on with this uh the warrior is here with you guys and uh kuya boom if you're here can you please describe to everyone what this mercenary looks like and what That's he's probably cool. um so wait <laughs> So basically, he looks. Uh, he's he's wearing black, all black. Uh, he's, it's his favorite color, and he's wearing all black armor, and he is clad in armor, and he's wearing a helmet, and he has a big sword. Uh, that's basically the simplest way to describe him and he's a mercenary um so he basically just says um i was just summoned here by the powers that be and then the next thing i know i'm just fighting skeletons and monsters so what the hell is going on and then uh one of uh the mayor uh, the, the, this woman, she approaches you, and she is the mayor of of this entire city. She tells you that, well, as as you know, um, for just uh, just for to recontext, said uh, for Draven, you were um, uh, this island was sucked into the Feywild around mga, uh, I want to say it's like two days na. 
you were in this island for a job and had the misfortune of being in the island when this whole thing happened. So you're just fighting around trying to survive and you're able to find refuge within, uh, within this, um, this base that, uh, that was being set by, by the city of, by the Skullbuggery. So the mayor tells you that, uh, whatever is happening here, an arc fay has taken control of the island and unfortunately it's putting a dampener on all of our daily routines so we're hoping that with your help if you could assist the overshadow over here with this assassination we could kill the arc fay and get on with our lives and uh draven you you've heard of overshadow because their reputation is quite huge especially when you arrive in the island they're like one of the best bounty hunters out there plus investigators as well but for overshadow um especially dusk bunny in particular dusk bunny you are fully aware of like who draven is you've heard of what draven who draven is and what he has done and uh you guys also kind of, especially Vendetta being like a bounty hunter as well, you got, you guys kind of hear, heard about like, Draven's, you know, like one of the best mercenaries out there. So you guys are kind of like, oh, this guy's good. Yeah, we, I think, I think we got <laughs> this. Yeah. So, uh, let's see here. Let me uh, Oh, okay. Uh, for for Dusk Bunny, um, Simon, you do not know his true identity. You just know the who Draven is, like, like his reputation as a as a mercenary. So now, so mm -hmm. Draven Draven gets introduced to Overshadow, and then Simon is like, "That's yeah, not a very good costume of the Great Warrior Draven." I mean, like. <laughs> You got the whole like look down, but uh, like uh, what is it? He's a foam sword, and Simon tries to like pick up the sword, but he can't carry it. Oh, oh, it's metal. It's, it's a real big sword. So Draven looks at him and says, "I see you doubt that if I'm the real <laughs> character." <laughs> Wow, there are two of you! <laughs> um, and then uh, the mayor uh, tries to steer the conversation back and she's like, Anyway, <laughs> based, on, based on the hard-earned work of um, Sorka, Luke, and the other spies that have died, um... We have discovered that Golgotha is using this island as uh, some sort of anchor for his for his domain, and also the the island that's floating above us has been gathering a lot of arcane energy. We've been detecting surges of magical energy gathering around his fortress in uh, Fortress of Heaven Sphere. And all that gathering of arcane energy does not bode well at all. He could literally do anything. Like with the amount of energy, uh, Magister did the numbers, and uh, I don't know. He could have like a death ray up there. For all I know, I uh, we we weren't really able to find the exact details of like what all this magical energy he's gathering for, but. With the dagger that um, Homer has here, that you that uh, you've all successfully worked to forge, I hope that we're we're able to kill him. We're able to kill Adam Calvary. So tell me, who will be doing the actual stabbing? Are we? Are you all gonna take turns stabbing him, or is it just one of you? Who's holding the dagger? I believe that Vendetta should be holding on to this. It's a personal matter for her, after all. Okay, and Mika, what, do, oh, do you say anything to that? Do you, yeah. Do you... Yeah, Vendetta will say, 
Um, I can hang on to it, but um, I just want that whoever gets the best opportunity, just let me know, and I can I can give it to you. Mm. But couldn't it be to the dagger people? No. It it could be a any one of you can wield the dagger just fine. It's just yeah. that you know it really depends like who happens to be nearby at, at the mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. And then okay, uh, mm -mm. I can uh, just to also remind um TJ and Carlo both of you um Vigil Vigil and Ted Tej they they can. For Tej, you have a man. You have Mage Hand, and you can use it as a bonus action to like take the Dagger Man son from Vendetta as long as you're within sixty feet. And for Vigil, you have the Ring of Telekinesis, so you can also use your Telekinesis to grab the Dagger. But uh, unfortunately, you have to use an action. So maybe Vigil, you can use your action to use Telekinesis to move the dagger and send it flying to anyone who is, you know, near near the person. So, you know, like, teamwork. Yeah. Oh, that and, doesn't mean I have to hold it, right? Uh, yeah, you don't have to hold it. You have the Ring of Telkinesis, man, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't have to be able to own it, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As, as long as you're... There's a range, man, good, of the spell telekinesis. As long as you're within 60 feet of Vendetta, you can pull, move the dagger away from her and then, I don't know, like... It will be... You can send it flying to wh whoever has the opportunity to stab him. Yeah. And also, uh, Vigil, now that you're back, um, Hostess over here is... Uh, you know, she she never took her eyes off of Jonathan ever since Golgotha came and like, you know, held the baby. Uh, Jonathan is right here with you guys, and he's already a full on five year old. He's a five year old boy now, so mm -hmm. he gets to have his I his token. So here's here's Jonathan, but he still can't speak. He's um his brains develop, huh? but no one thought no one has like taught him speech yet or he hasn't had the chance to like properly learn it so he's just silent there holding on to hostess he he has enough understanding to know that hostess is his mother so he's holding on to her lang and he's a bit shy and he has no idea what's happening right now <laughs> but guys uh there's also um let's see here Shit, I forgot uh, there are other people here. In a moment. Uh, the mayor tells you guys that... Uh, so, we're all here now in, uh, in Tenda Town's domain, but all of you will have to fly up to, to the Heaven Sphere Fortress. Unfortunately, there are a lot of flying monsters, but I think the only way we can uh, get there is by essentially turning you three into a flying creature. So, uh, and then the mayor tells Homer, Homer, you can save your spells. I'll have Sage cast the spell on you three while you're all inside. Would that be a problem? I don't think so. That would be favor. Okay. Okay. And uh, Sage and Rotaran are also here uh, in the dining hall with you guys. And uh, Rotaran is not looking well. He was accompanying with you guys in... Uh, accompanying with Sorka and Luke in the scouting mission. And he unfortunately almost died and got injured. So... Uh, but he's recovering. And Sage approaches to you guys and tells you guys in Tyranian Sign Language that uh, Rotaran will be accompanying you guys. He will guide you on the way. He'll do his best to guide you and make sure that, you, you know, if anything weird happens and you don't realize it, he will alert you. And then Rotaran, he calls you guys over. He tells you, guys, guys, in case I die today, I want you all 
I want to share my deepest, darkest secret that I have never, ever told anyone. So I want you all to come closer so I can tell it to you guys. Come closer, all of you. It's like super important. Okay. So, okay. I will now tell you how my powers actually work. Now is the time. I've been holding the secret and I feel like since I'm almost gonna die, maybe, maybe I should tell you what my power is. The power that I asked Valak over there many years ago. But before I tell you guys what it is, do you guys have a good guess of what my power is? A bug game, if you guess correctly, you get the wish bones. You have the, <laughs> you have, you have the power of stalling. No, I don't. <laughs> the power of love? Oh my god. <laughs> Not you the power, power of love. The power of mimicry. What, what? Power of mimicry. Mimicries. Power of mimicry? No, not really, no. His name's Sage, right? Huh? His name's this Sage? Rotaran. Oh, Rotaran. No, this is from Rotaran, Rotaran. The guy who knows stuff. Oh. Mind reading. You have your power of... of... very good memory. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't think we got it. Yo, Taran? Is it yeah. like, a, like a code or something? Like Rebecca Karen? Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't like... think Rebecca Karen is the power. Oh, it Q in and and Wayne. <laughs> maybe it's a. Maybe it's no, a. I'm too... like, no, I, I did mention before, like, yeah, his name. He did. He did. His, his name is just narrator spelled backwards. Yeah. Pero his yeah. power is actually. There's a there's an actual like narrative explanation. He, Maybe he's not. He's it PM, looks like he's so. all knowing, but there are limits for his power, man. Good. So I'm like, does any can anyone have a guess of what it would be? I like you can tell. He's a uh, divination What's wizard a with a keen PM. mind feat. <laughs> so specific. That's a really good guess, actually. Pero. That's not the answer. <laughs> well, shit. Yo, Ban said he's a DM. He's not a DM. He's he not can narrate DM. things in people's head without having to speak. Do you think he reads minds? Is he like a silver tongue or something? No, 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 he's <laughs> not. <laughs> Even better, golden tongue. <laughs> Stop it. Even better, platinum tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Top 500 tongue, let's go. Master <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll give you a hint, I'll give you a hint. Oh shit. During, uh, in the times when he's uh, telling you guys uh, things that he happened to be knowing, he sometimes like, looks around. Or he water, does. he's a waterbender. Ah, he's an observant no. fit? No, Wait, really, what? no. Fuck. <laughs> Is it like clairvoyant or something? No? Can Not exactly. He can't he cannot see ghosts. That's his limit as well. Mm -hmm. If an he invisible person approaches. Yeah. <laughs> we... He's a big Yeah, Again um... I will say no, I really think your power is stalling. <laughs> You're a star. I tell Rotaran, out with it, man. We obviously have no clue. Then Rotaran's like, God damn it. Okay. I'll just, I'll say, I'll say, I will but... I will tell you what happened. When I when I got a hold of Valak Cemetery years ago, Valak offered me to grant me a wish. And I asked him. I was a 13-year-old at the time, so I told him, I wish for the ability to see through solid layers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> X-ray vision. <laughs> All the ghosts oh. back out. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I was, and, then, and then I realized 
that having the power to see through people's clothes is not as great as it has to be. Because when people wear clothes, their stuff is already constricted and it's really ugly to look at. And I regret this power and I hate it. So I decided to not tell everyone that I have x-ray vision and be like, I'm mysterious. I know things. Cool. So that's my secret. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you can see my carrots. I don't want to. I don't actively use the power to do that anymore. I just like look through walls and shit. That's why I don't get lost easily. Or like, that's why I know who had the key during the party and like, when when the okay. rock knight was trying to sneak in, I swam through the roof. So yeah. Can you choose which of things to look through, or is it just an it's on all and the off time? Thing? <laughs> oh, I turn it on and off. I can turn it on and off. So, yeah. Uh, so I can choose I can which choose ones, or when you turn it on, like everything is just transparent all of a sudden. I just selectively make the walls transparent. You know. Okay. Uh, I I still think your second power is stalling because that's still what you're doing. I am not stalling. I'm going to help you skip all the the maze that is this uh, heaven sphere thing. Like ah. with yeah. So ah. anyway, the secret is out, and thank God. Like yeah. been sharing I... the secret for years. No, I wish you. So, did, yeah. I wish you didn't tell us. No, now you know. Now you know. Now you can like I'm, because I can't. I still can't see invisible things sneaking up I'm, on us. Because, I'm I'm yeah. gonna go meet a divination wizard and have them erase this memory from my mind. <laughs> oh wow! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what happened. And uh, before that as well, uh, Luke is going to call um, three people. He's going to call Tej, Sorka, and Homer. So Luke's going to be like, hey, uh, Homer and Tej and um, uh, Bright Moon, come over here. I got something for, for the three of you. All right. What's up, Sir Luke? Yeah, well... Uh, so, you know, I want to also contribute to, to helping you guys kill in Golgotha. So I, I decided I'm going to infuse some of my magics um, into, into your weapons and armor. So, uh, Homer, I think you could use some, uh, def some boost in your defense. So he Luke taps uh, his paw on your uh, armor. And like uh, orange energy starts to seep through the armor, and we now have a plus one on your AC. Yep, already added it. I tell him I appreciate it. For for Sorka, he tells you, and and for you, daughter, I'm gonna make sure that you don't have to always get up close to people to stab them. And he takes um, Sorka's dagger and enchant infuses magic into it and now basically you have a boomerang dagger you have a returning dagger so your dagger can be thrown up to 20 feet or 60 feet and it will return back to you so oh, you so don't have thor's hammer but dagger hi you have the what it's like thor's what's his name hammer yeah basically yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the dagger now has like a plus one to your attack roll and damage roll as well because of that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so your dagger still has the same range, huh? Like your dagger has the range of like 20 feet slash 60 feet. But now you can throw it and it will return back to you instantly. So, and it has plus one. So take note of that plan. And for, for Tej, and for you, Teach, uh, I know you have like a pension for like stabbing people with your rapier, but this guy mm -hmm. keeps flying around, and I don't know how many chances you got on stabbing him. So I have this hand crossbow. He gives you like this handheld crossbow that you can hold on one hand, and like you don't have to worry about running out of ammunition. This thing just reloads itself, and then. Uh, he shoots the hand crossbow up in the ceiling, and you see, like, uh, a small arrow shoot out of it. But then 
after it hits the ceiling, it disappears and a new ammo appears in the hand crossbow. So he gives that to you, Teach. So Yay. yeah. Uh, just add like a hand crossbow to your inventory. Um, this is like uh, the damage will be like 1d6 plus your dexterity plus mm -hmm. one as well. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're welcome, kid. Uh, go get him for me because he mm -hmm. almost killed me too. Then I dap him up. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, Okay, and uh, for Vendetta, Valak uh, approaches you, and Valak tells you, uh, Vendetta, just yes? uh, whatever boost and powers you have, just make sure to use it wisely. Okay. Okay, and uh, I would like to join you in fighting, but I also am going to participate in preventing the other monsters from interfering with your assassination job. So let's both do our best. Yes, let's be killing some people. Yeah, let's go slay. <laughs> uh, and uh, finally for Trandafira, um, the Magister approaches you and also tells you uh, essentially the same thing that Valak told Vendetta, like the boost in powers that you have, use it wisely. And uh, uh, don't die. <laughs> Do not die, because that would suck. I will try my best. Okay. By the um, way, Homer, before mm -hmm. the fight starts, would be casting Freedom of Movement on Vendetta and Draven. Nice. Okay, okay. Yep. And, yeah. Uh, so, uh, like, the rest of the leadership starts exiting the... Uh, exiting U3 to, you know, do their other to take care of other things. Sage is also going out and uh, using sign language, he tells you guys good luck. And uh, yeah, uh, the rest of you are now in, uh, in the left in the U3 unit. And um, outside, Sage transform you, transforms U3 into a, a giant eagle. Who begins to start flying towards the Heaven Sphere Fortress. And while you're inside, uh, Jed tells you guys that, uh, okay, guys, before, before anything else, I want to tell you guys that whatever happens, uh, it's always been a pleasure working with you guys. And let's, let's, Let's avenge my dad. And also, you know, kill a lot of people. I mean, not people, monsters that stand in our way. And yeah. Slip of tongue. <laughs> let's, let's hope for the best, guys. Uh. So yeah, um... You guys can also like um you guys wanna share some you know last words or something, you know, before you're going on the suicide mission. You can last see it. Words. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's an honor working with you or like, you know, like some of you owe me money or whatever. <laughs> Fucking shit, some of you owe me money. <laughs> No one, no one will, you know, like, char char, you know. <laughs> char char. <laughs> uh, Draven will just, uh, who was in charge? Uh, the mayor, right? So Draven will just make sure that I'm going to get paid after this, right? The ma Before the mayor leaves, she tells you, you will get paid as long as you, saw, as long as you survive. I'm going to make sure that I live there. <laughs> okay. And Draven will cast uh, Long Strider on himself. Nice. Sige, sige. 
All right. right. Before we head long into what might be our final battle, uh, just tell Tomer will just basically say to everyone, all right, everyone, this is the end of our journey. All of you are really unhinged and a bit on the crazy side, but it is and was a pleasure working with all of you and sharing with all of you. After this is done, I think I'm going to retire and head back to Athendil for a bit. Some of you are free to come with me if we survive this. But yeah. Let's get that son of a bitch. Nice. Nice. That's a nice one, Homer. You got one more wishbone. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, incentive. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, plus points for speaking in class. <laughs> Hello, guys. I am. <laughs> Do not go, now, guys. Share your char moments as a team. All all eight of you are here, you know. All right, I'll try. Okay, go. <laughs> I, I start walking to the center beside Homer. <laughs> so, as you all know, I used to be one of the most uh, ruthless people who do not give a shit about people. But uh, I think after this, I'm also done. As you all have known, I just to a hostess to come with. I have a child now, and uh, I do not want this life for my child. So y'all can peace out. <laughs> y'all can peace out. <laughs> y'all can peace out. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh on my, my own. Gosh. I mean, I, I might, I might want to see what this, this Athendale's like. If it's peaceful there, I can go there. <laughs> You know, we'll discuss it in civil manner with hostess. Then we hold Homer the child together. Homer jokingly says, uh, if, uh, if I must tell you, Athendil isn't technically all sunshine and rain. <laughs> isn't all sunshine and rainbows. They, uh, they had a civil war recently, if I'm not mistaken. That's just one of the options. <laughs> 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 I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. That's it. Then we uh, nice. sit down at this table here. You get you get a, another wishbone too. <laughs> Thanks, sir. And and Jonathan like actually claps at what you said. Like hey. for some somehow he he kind of like he's just like pleased with what you said for some reason. <laughs> the child. <laughs> It's all about the delivery, not the contents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, it's a trend of era. He says, we'll see if a peaceful life fits me. I seem to have an obligation in the island, and I suppose this is my home now. But I suppose trend of fear is what you know me as. But you may freely use Trigorn Blood Fang. I can trust all of you with it. Ooh. Ooh. Reclaiming... A name that holds so much suffering. Very, very empowering, you know. You get a wishbone as well. Simon's so, just like... Simon's just like... What? They have, a, they have a secret identity too? Damn, I don't feel that special anymore. Special anymore. <laughs> Damn. All right, um, if no one else will speak, I will, Vendetta will, I would probably assume, assume has like a drink in her hand and raises the toast as I go. Yeah, so Sorka moves to the center and she goes like, uh, I know, I feel like I don't fit very well and I know a lot of spaces and all, but for somehow I feel like Y'all have become my family. Uh, and I want to thank you all for helping me find my dad and, of course, saving the world with me. And thanks to you guys, I feel like I must reconnect with the rest of my family as well. And I don't know how that's going to work, considering the rest of my family are a bunch of stuck up rich kids who pretend I don't exist, but we'll see. We'll see. And 
should I ever be reclaimed to the house of splendor? I'm giving you all their riches because those motherfuckers don't deserve that much wealth to themselves. Thank you all, and I love you. <laughs> Luke gives you a standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, th th that's that's my daughter right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is all for me. Thank you so much. You get one wishbone as well. Simon goes. Yeah, okay. Simon, Simon goes. Go. He's like, so, um, <clears throat> life. Life is a, is like planting carrots. You work hard and you plant the seeds and after the season comes for the harvest, you pick them out and you don't know what you're going to get because the carrots are underground because you only see the green leaf parts. So you don't know if you pull it out, it can it's like a healthy, good carrot. You pull another one out. It's a shit carrot. You pull another one out and it's like fat and juicy. And you pull another one out and it's like skinny and rotten. You pull another oh God, one out. Over. Come on, hey, let's get on with this. So, <laughs> That's what Luke so, and then you take the carrots and you bring them to your house. And then you can decide if are you going to cook the carrots? Or are you gonna turn it into carrot juice? Or yeah, the approach is like, come on, get to the point, come on. <laughs> what? I thought we were just talking about like things that we like. You so... also have a stalling special power. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, like, no. no, everyone just came up here in the middle and started saying nice things, so I'm telling you nice things. Like no, carrots are no, nice. We're, we're talking about um you know, ha, like things we like how it's an honor to work with each other and like what we want to do if we survive. That was oh, not yeah. oh, if we survive, we're all going to a tavern and we're drinking carrot juice. Who's Yay. with me? Yay. Oh. Yay. <laughs> and then and then Simon like leaves the stage like flexing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> your your speech reminded me of this one meme. I'm gonna post it on memes. <laughs> okay, give yourself one wishbone. Great. I'll take okay. it. This little and and teach. Do you have a speech to say? No. <laughs> nice. got, oh wait. Oh. Uh, while Dusk Bunny was giving a speech, uh, while Simon was saying his speech, I fell asleep. <laughs> oh wow. Damn. <coughs> okay. Yeah, no one else? Uh finally, um, Draven, would you like to have a speech in case you literally just met these people, but you might you know. Do you have a speech? An inspiring speech maybe. No, he's just going to say, I don't plan to die today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice. I don't know about you, but I don't know. I don't plan to die today. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I really, I like this guy already. Nice. Nice. We have a very positive attitude. Yes. And you guys, uh, after that speech, you all turn around in one of the walls of the of the dining hall, and there lies uh, an, a a very crude drawing of the symbol of overshadow. Nice. You all look at it together, and you all uh, a thought just like crossed your head. Now, you know this is for this is for Nikolai and for the money maybe that will be paid, and also for being for becoming a legend. If we murder this Arkfey, you know you will be legends throughout Baron. So yeah, and uh, you guys are able to see from outside you three uh, uh, from one of the windows, and you see that it's slowly approaching the heaven sphere in the uh, uh, island. 
So this is what you guys see. It's essentially a floating island with a city at the top. A city that is uh, very beautiful if you can see it from afar. However, there are a lot of like flying monsters that are like trying to attack you three. But you three has had practice now like how to like fly expertly and avoid those monsters. So there's kind of like a, a cool you know, flight sequence of him just avoiding the monsters and, you know, uh, dodging whatever uh, horrifying uh, uh, monstrosities are trying to kill it. And then <laughs> Simon says we got to hire a proper crest designer. Yeah, it's, it's high time you had a proper crest designer for it, for the crest. So, uh, yeah. U3 is uh, dodging some of the monsters, and then you just see like another like flying monster, like a like a giant bird that has tentacles sticking out of it, just like swiftly like approaching the uh, U3 at high speeds. And this monster is this close to like colliding with you guys and throwing you off your course. However, all of a sudden. Uh, the black dra a black dragon appears, and on top of it is Romeo Blightside, and he tells the dragon to blast acid at the monster, preventing it from throwing you guys off your course. So U3 was able to fly straight ahead, and like Romeo looks at U3 uh, and like gives it a thumbs up to make sure that you guys are able to reach to your destination without getting you know diverted. And then finally. Uh, you see also in a distance, like a bunch of monsters are are also being fought by a giant mammoth that was using a trumpet blast against them. And did you recognize that this is actually Cornelius? He's somehow on this island again, helping you guys. <gasps> Cornelius. Yeah. And uh, on top of Cornelius, you also see a man in a bird costume punching one of the monsters while on top of Cornelius. He's just jumping from Cornelius to another monster and just punching punching them and teleporting. So, yeah, some of your allies that uh, have uh, helped you along the way, they're actually present on the island as well. They either came, volunteered to like be teleported here to help you guys. From a distance, you see a tiefling casting spells at some of the monsters. You also see a halfling in a red suit, also using magic on some of the monsters. And uh, in, in a, in, somewhere in the city, you also see uh, uh, a tabaxi uh, running at super speeds and bringing a few monsters that are also, you know, uh, trying to attack like the other adventurers. And yeah, as uh, there are a lot of allies who are present in the island, you know, who, who have promised to help and who have helped you before. Now, as you approach the, the city of Heaven Sphere in this island, uh, from far away, you see that the place is, looks like a beautiful city made of glass, metal, and crystals. And you can even see threads of silk making like very alluring patterns and spots of rubies being spread up throughout the city. However, when you fly closer into the, when you're like inside the city, Najid, it is horrible. It's really, you just see a horrible sight because the, the threads of silk that you see from afar, they're not webs or they're not silk. They're like webs made of blood, flesh, and giant-like intestines. The rubies and the red gems that you see from afar, when you come closer, they're actually just pool, large pools of blood everywhere in the city. And as you approach, the metals and the glass structures that are in the city, when you look closer, you see a lot of fake creatures being chained to the buildings and being impaled into them. Some of them are dead, but some of them are still aware and like, you know, just impaled in place, just like screaming. And 
not only that, you also see a few celestial creatures. Some creatures look like angels, and some of them even look like Cornelius, just like stuck or like stabbed by giant spears, and they're all like either dying or are already dead. And you can, you guys can now somehow understand why this city is called Heaven Sphere because a lot of like celestial and good aligned beings are pretty much full of fear and suffering while they're in this city. And uh, the structures are also, some of the structures are beautiful, but some of them are just like, there's like flesh mixed into it. Some of the structures look like this, if you guys can see it, if the map has changed. It looks like muscles and, and like gold like mixed together, and, and they all look trippy in a way as well. And uh, you pass by other buildings, some of them look like this. You see, like, some buildings have, like, giant faces just stapled onto the, onto the sides. You see hallways with, like, flesh and other things just hanging like a tapestry. It's, uh, it's not very, uh, it's very grotesque, but, uh, but you guys were eventually able to reach the city, uh, the, the center of the, of the city. You find Golgotha's castle, and you uh, three was able to fly discreetly and uh, land in one spot. Uh, some monsters were still chasing after him, but he was able to find an opening to fly in. And uh, based on the maneuvering, he unfortunately like crashed a bit, and now he's turned back into a into a tree ant again. So, uh, you guys, uh, you guys are able to like uh, have a smooth landing in spite of like you three crashing down. So yeah, you're able to like exit uh, as you were exiting you three. Uh, Hostess, Hostess, Jed, and uh, Luke decided to like hold the fort here just in case you three gets attacked. And uh, and yeah, as you leave for the to explore the castle, Jonathan says his first words and he tells you guys good luck and waves at you guys. And yeah, you guys. Um, Thanks to the help of uh, Rotaran with his uh, X-ray vision, he's able to guide you guys through some of the uh, intricate mazes of the of the castle. Uh, there is one uh, castle that kind of directly leads to the throne room. Uh, so Rotaran guides you guys there. Uh, however, the entrance to the throne room is blocked by, uh, by a large door. And here's the thing, guys. Uh, you guys send, like, your, um, pick-locking experts to try to pick the lock. However, uh, whenever Sorka, Teach, or Trendafira tries to approach the door, they instantly get teleported away from the door. So they can't even like physically reach the door to pick lock it. So um, I'd like um, some of you guys to do an Arcana check, please, to figure out what's happening. Let's go, guys. Ah, oh, thirteen. Oh, let's see. Okay, fear has twenty three. That's not bad. Okay, but let's go, guys. <laughs> it's happening. All our twenty, all our twenty rolls from that one moment is all coming back now, <laughs> biting Shit. us in the ass. Good. Okay. Oh, jeez. 
<laughs> what does T just roll? I think he's decent in Arcana Mansigor. Yeah, he has a high end roll, so uh what did you roll, DJ? Hmm? Well, uh, roll, roll. roll Arcana mm. check DJ to figure out what's happening. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is <laughs> the campaign's <laughs> over, guys. We <laughs> <laughs> can't figure it out. Unfortunately, you guys are stranded and you died. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, so I'm trying to figure has the highest roll and Fira, based on your um, based on your lessons with the magister, you guys have. Had a lot of discussions said with magical theory. Sometimes teleportation, uh, teleportation magic is sometimes the most powerful beings would often place teleportation spells on doorways to prevent thieves from, you know, successfully lockpicking their stuff. However, one way to get around it is to use, you know, use magic to get around magic. Based on how well you know your team, Trandafira. You might want to suggest Peach and Vigil to use their telekinesis on the door to pull it open. So yeah. Will you share that with uh, with the group? Let's see. I forgot. Um, there is also out right now, but... There's what? Feather, my owl. Ah, okay. okay. All right. So, <laughs> so for for Vigil and uh, Deej, so you guys have uh, have had experience not practicing with uh, with your magic. So, uh, Vigil, you use your <laughs> your Jedi hand movements and try to like wrench the door open and. Uh, the door starts to creak open, and meanwhile, for your for Thiege, you use your invisible mage hand to send like thieves tools over to the to the lock of the door to lock pick it. So, TJ, I want you to roll like a a sleight of hand for your mage hand. Mm. Is he slight, right? Yeah, sleight of hand. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nice. Okay. So that's an 18. So you're going to pick the lock uh, with your using the kinesis with your um, tools. And with I that. I remembered something. All our rogues should have reliable talent by now. Uh, way higher than that. Uh... Yeah. And, and yeah, Vigil, you're able to wrench the door open uh, successfully. So, uh, when you enter the, the hallway, you realize that the hallway looks more like a garden. Looks like, uh, here's the map. It's like a garden! Oh, and uh, you guys can put yourselves... Hmm? No. No. You guys can put yourselves over here. Put yourselves over here. Oh wait, I have your tokens. I can also put you guys here. Uh, you have my updated token. I have the old one. Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, Vigil's here. Uh, I also have Sorka's updated token. I'll put her here. Robin Hood's still there. Robin Hood. Zombie Robin Hood. Zombie Robin Hood. Wait, there were there were people here. I was supposed to put yeah no. Also you see a few doppelgangers standing, three doppelgangers over there. Oh shit. Right. Three doppelgangers? Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, sorry, please add again Vendetta, sorry. I thought it was like, hmm, there are two, two me's in this map. 
<laughs> exactly. Uh-oh. This is like the ultimate is... self battle. This is the ultimate self battle. Battle of the self. This is Rafi's like ah, you have min maxed characters. I'm gonna use them. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, okay. So, uh, just to set expectations, these doppelgangers, I'm not gonna like use your own characters against you. They'll transform into something else. Oh, cool. Uh, because uh, it's gonna it's gonna take forever, and we don't wanna play this game for five <laughs> hours. So, yeah. Like I would love to do that, but it it just yeah. It's not in the cards. Yeah. Now mm. you see these uh you see these doppelgangers. And you also see Golgotha uh, out there with, and in front of him is Robin Hoodlum. You see Golgotha like put his hand on the top of Robin's head and Robin starts to mutate all of a sudden. He like expands into like a balloon. His flesh just bursts out and all of a sudden he turns into an eye. Yeah. For some reason I thought of Coco Crunch, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it became Coco became Crunch. Coco Crunch. Yeah, that's it. That's what I was thinking. Game Coco Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> you should. This episode is sponsored by Coco Crunch. So. Hey. Hey, us. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so, so these three doppelgangers out there, uh, they, they, they're they're gathered here and. Uh, the one that uh, looks like Vigil, he tells you guys, you know, you guys really shouldn't have said yes to the arc face offer, even if you didn't really mean it. Ah. Uh... that is like, words have meaning, especially in the fa- in the arc face domain. No, shut up. And then that's shut up, like, not me. Yes, and you're gonna pay the price now. Then. Uh, these three start mutating. You see rows and rows of teeth, not just growing in their mouths, but in their f- in the outside, in the side of their heads, in their arms. You see bones start to encase their forms, and they turn into uh, into these um, really disgusting creatures. Uh, above game, I call them like uh, oh, that's so cool. Takers. I yeah. love the names. Did you call them? What did you call them? I call them <laughs> takers, the monsters, but they have their Heath own takers. unique names. Okay, okay. What takers? Takers. Yeah, because they're they're like monsters created out of bones and and teeth. Oh, uh, just just fairies. Yeah. <laughs> I love their names. I would have laughed if Vengeance was instead Vendetto. Vendetto. <laughs> Vendetto. Oh my god. That's so cool. Yeah. When 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 you guys jokingly told Gogotha like yeah sure we'll join you. Yeah. He cloned us. Basically just created a clone of you based on the words that based on you know your agreement. So. so- yeah. So when we a part of you joined him. when we took a long rest, he snuck snuck into our our beds and stole some of our teeth. You know that's really creepy, and I'll say yeah, he did that. He oh, did shit. that. <laughs> so we have like yeah. so, like a missing tooth somewhere in our mouth. Mouth. No. You actually realize you have a bunch of missing teeth. Actually, more than one. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> We've been fasting for a while. We didn't realize we had missing teeth. <laughs> yeah, and Homer could have casted regenerate the whole time. Hey, so uh, I just like I just thought missing teeth was a part of life. <laughs> <laughs> and then each of these uh, doppelgangers, they they say something pretty twisted. Dark Bunny tells you that he tells you. You hear of you hear voices in your head. Actually, you're kind of telepathically linked with these doppelgangers. For Dust Bunny, mm. you just hear, "I'm gonna reenact every crime you have solved." 
And oh. then vigil, for vigil, you just hear a voice in your head. I'm gonna gut your wife and child. And for Vendetta, you hear, I'm gonna, f I will find your mother and I'll rip her head off. And so, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening. And I want you guys to roll initiative. Dun, dun, dun. Rafi, I thought the <laughs> Halloween special was last week. This is Halloween part though. <laughs> oh, shit. Halloween not so special anymore. <laughs> no, Halloween special pro. The Halloween next one will be ha the next one will be Halloween special max. <laughs> no, Halloween business. I think wala pa na... Halloween personal Halloween pro. I think wala pa na set ang koan. In, in it begin. join. I'll do it. Hello. Mm. I just got back. We're gonna do in it. Or in yeah. It. Okay, hold on. In it and in the it first. Ah, oh, hold on. And in it. I wish begin. I can do this in real life. It's so hot right now. There you go. In it. Right in now, it. Okay. <laughs> in <laughs> it <laughs> and twenty. <laughs> wow. Yo, I'm gonna BRB again after I've recorded our initiative. I have to pick up laundry, pala. Okay, go. Oh what the fuck is it? What the fuck is it? What is that? No. <laughs> uh, Am I second? Uh, damn. I yeah. Nothing. Okay, I will do my turn before putting the chicken back in the fr fr freezer. Uh, no wonder. Okay, okay. I mean, you might not be second. It depends on the enemy's rolls too. That's true. Oh, oh shit! I I forgot that. Thank you for reminding yeah. me. I have to roll. <laughs> Look at, I can't believe I, I have like... I have a plus twelve to initiative, and I rolled an yeah. <laughs> one. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Natural way of things, bro. What a great way. way to start. By the way, dude, you and I tied. Do you want to go first or me? Uh, uh, uh you can go first. Okay. Well, for those who rolled low, get the bad rolls out of the way. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather roll low on initiative than like a a, a accuracy. Oh, I'd rather roll high on initiative, at least for me, because I need to do my disability spell as quickly yes. as possible. Yep, makes sense for you. The control the build. Control build. The sooner the better. Which is why I'm thankful you wanted me to go first. Yeah. Alrighty. Question: If Tej uses his mage hand to poke Robin, ba, will that hurt? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no you hurt. can't Robin use. Robin has an instinct to blink before getting oh. hit. So. <laughs> yeah, there, there's like a there's like a piece of skin that serves as an eyelid. <laughs> Ew. We can fake which punch is, it, force it to blink. Which, which is <laughs> gross. <laughs> It doesn't blink, really it just gross. flaps. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> that actually reminds me of the giant starfish in Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. right. Same vibes. If this has yeah. wings, it can use its wings to blink for it, just wipe out some of the excess like moisture. Uh, so, guys, while Rafi is rolling for his dude's initiatives, I'll be right back and huh? I'll get my laundry now. Okay. I think that's enough turns before mine. Okay. So I'll go right same. back, dudes. Uh, so the ba the the besties, they're all um the baddies are seven as well. Um, I think me and Trend of Fear have to roll off for this. Roll off. I think, yeah. Uh, Fear up, please. Um, roll roll on a d twenty. In the red decide. corner, Trend of Fear, professor of linguistics and gram and. Yeah. Professor, Russian doctor of language linguistics, rolls a fifteen. In the blue corner, the di the dungeon master rolls a two. Oh. We win. Combat is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just list them as baddies. So there they are. Okay. 
So, uh, let's go, girlies. Um, Tage, top of the round. You, you, what is uh, what's your what's your move? Uh, I, I don't want, want to attack, to so I'll just cast like here. mirror image. Nice. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'll. Uh, can someone list that he's doing mirror image? I'll. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. And uh, so that's your main action. Uh, what is your do bonus action? What are you gonna do? I. Mm, well, I'll just end my turn there. You don't wanna move. Oh. You don't wanna move. move? Awesome. Uh, oh, okay. I'll. Here. I'll move there. Okay. You can you can hide huh, behind these pillars. That these pillars uh, are like five feet tall. Okay. So you'll take a hide action there. Yep. Okay. Uh, based on what you would roll, I would say. I'd say you'd still make it actually. Yeah, you're hidden now, so you're hidden. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is Tejas roll. Next is Vigil turn. So Carlo, what do you do? Carlo? Hello. Carlo, where are you? Are you with us? Uh, oh, okay. Yes, again. That's fine. We'll skip his turn, sir. Huh? And uh, I'll have. Uh, my God, Homer's turn. Yeah. <laughs> We're skipping Homer's turn. That's funny. It's your turn. Oh no. Okay, Simon. Uh. <clears throat> Simon's gonna move forward 40 feet of movement in this first round. 5, 10, 15. He moves over here 15 feet and then from the left side of the. What's hap what happened? Someone dragged and dropped know. a token! Someone. Hold on, let me rearrange that. What happened? What happened? <laughs> pretty girl though, nice and pretty, yeah. pretty lady. Forever she is. <laughs> Ooh! It's Tej. That's what Tej looks like oh. now. Oh. Tej <laughs> is a girl. Yeah. 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 Long time now. <laughs> oh my god! I was okay. I was uh, today years old. Okay. So, coming from the left side of the tree, Simon crosses, and then on when he arrives on the other side, he's already in the Dusk Bunny outfit. As he says, yeah. darkness consumes the eye. You know the rest. And then <laughs> <laughs> he transforms into the dust bunny. So that's 15 feet. Um, 20, 25, 30. And he is going to attack because Masayang Iyang first turn if he doesn't attack with the. Gloom stalker shit. He's gonna attack Dark Bunny because it's cool. I imagine Dark Bunny to be like Dust Bunny is like coated in like dark browns, orange, and green. But and then Dust Dark, dark Bunny is like a a dirty white bone version of Dusk Bunny that's like yeah. contorted and shit. Yes. Ah, uh, so cool. So he's gonna shoot at them. However. Yeah, and then make them favored foe and everything. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that Kuya Boom is here because he can tell me if I'm making mistakes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, fuck, no advantage. Yeah, so I will not use Sharpshooter. Imperator. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. No advantage. No sharpshooter. 29 Great. to hit, 15 damage. Uh, I'll make that, that a separate thing first. 29 hit, 
15 damage. And then uh, they become my favorite foe. Okay. They become my favorite foe. Hang on, hang on. And then I'll do an extra attack. A Imperator. 15 to hit. That does not hit. Okay. And then bonus action mus uh, Musket of Speed. Imperator. Um, actually, I'm also thinking of doing insightful fighting. Hang on, huh? Okay. Insightful fighting. the initiative, it's just baddies after Trandafira. Yes. Okay. And then after Dusk Bunny's turn, uh, it will be your turn because we skipped you over. Hey, they did their turns that quickly? Dang. No, Vigil was uh, AFK. He was also somewhere. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, are, is Dark Bunny wielding anything? No, he's uh, barehanded. Um, that first attack. Yeah. I'm gonna do uh, a pushing attack because Dust Bunny is now a battle master. Ooh. So combat, let me, I wonder if I already made this. I have not. Uh, so I just roll a 1d8 to add damage. Roll 1d8. You know what, I'll just roll all the extra shit. And then Dread Ambusher is extra 1d8 so that's all that's 2d8 now and then favored foe is 1d4 so r1d8 and r1d4 uh and then i will do insightful fighting as a bonus action so they need to make a deception check uh that beats my insight check and okay. I roll an insight of 18. They need to beat an 18. Deception. Oh, damn, uh, 18, let me... Let me look at my thingy. It is gonna be... Uh, I have to roll deception, no? Deception. Okay. I rolled. Oh, I beat at twenty-one. Are we not done yet? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, have, we started, not, have we not started yet? Uh, we started. We started. Uh, I skipped you and Homer's turns. All right. right, right. Later, but we'll get back to you guys after Dusk Bunny. Okay. So it's fifteen damage, plus five, plus two. Is twenty two damage total, okay. and does yeah? What does Dark Bunny do? Yeah, that that's uh no, he doesn't do anything. Okay, does Bunny moves another ten feet? That was thirty feet here. He's gonna move. Oh, is this this is elevated? Yeah, this this thing is like five feet tall. Ah, so. Ah, so. Okay. In that case, I'll move here. One, and then. Two. End my turn there. Okay. Got it. That was All such right. a bad turn. First <laughs> turn. Okay, uh. I'll, um. Link, I'll. It's Vigil's turn because he's on the top of the round. So Vigil, uh, Carlo, it's your turn now. Oh, how many feet can we move again? 30, right? Yeah, your movement is 30. So that's like six squares. Three. Uh, I'll go beside Teach. Okay. And oh. what will you do? What was hide again? Is that a bonus action? Yeah, that is a bonus action. And you still have your main action. You can use it to shoot at them or something. Oh shit, yeah. I want to shoot at Vengeance. 
Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, it'd be um, best if you, before you go here, you can be here so that you can have line of sight at her so that. Uh, the problem is uh, your, your range is too far. You can still reach her. You can still shoot at her, but you have to roll at a disadvantage. So I can, I can roll here. I can move here from here. Ah, yeah. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. And you're gone. Yeah, can you you're do gone. panache instead. You can do panache. Yeah, I think you can do panache. What does panache do again? I have to roll something, right? Uh, it, it's kind of pointless. It's kind of pointless. I'll just shoot. I'll just shoot. Okay. okay. Uh, you'll have to shoot at disadvantage though, because like your main, the main range of your gun is like thirty feet. So All I right. think, yeah. Might as well try. Yeah, you can also add a charge. You have ten charges to your gun, by the way. So to add uh, two d ten. Oh no, I won't risk it on in my miss. Okay. Ooh, nice. This one hits. So yeah, it only gets uh, 15 points of damage. Vengeance gets 15 points, and yeah. Uh, and then you'll use your bonus action to hide, right? Yep, and I move here. Okay. Yeah, I'll say you guys are hidden, like, you have reliable talent and whatever modifier you have, you, you'll succeed. So, next is Homer's turn. So Link, what do you do? Alrighty. <laughs> The first turn is very basic. Um, man, I don't remember how Drave fights, so I don't know if there's a point in. Oh wait, wait I didn't roll for disadvantage. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh shit. Roll one yeah, more time. Right. Yeah, just roll the yeah. RD twenty. Yeah. How does it, how does this work? RD twenty. This just roll it again, like a pistol. Oh, exclamation mark a pistol. A pistol D. Oh, better, uh, no, no, don't anymore because you rolled already. Yeah. 20, so, oh, that still hits. Okay. It still hits, it still hits, so you're good. Okay. So the 15 mm -hmm. damage remains. Mm. All right. Thanks for that. And then, yeah, I was saying I don't know if Draven needs to be enlarged. It might be pointless. So, going to enlarge the one who always benefits from it the most, Vendetta. Wow. Uh, it's gonna be big again. Thanks. And if she also uses her thing, then she can be huge. So yeah. that's why. Really? Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's stuck there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. There are like nine squares. Oh, my God. Yeah, basically. So I save. Uh, and I have to bring out my stuff, the woodlands as well, because I think there's a material component. That's correct. Yeah. Then I save. To a vendetta, Mother Nature, grant growth to this seedling, and then I cast enlarge on her. Now you're large. Nice. All right. Yeah. And then I have to put a concentration. Um. Here we go. Concentration circle on this one. Okay. And then I move. See, can't do any bonus actions right now. Let's just get closer. 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll be near Dusk Bunny as close as I can. Okay, good. Feather's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, Feather needs to hide. He has a very important job. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25, 40, 45, I don't know, maybe here. Okay. okay. And then his action is going to be the hide action. I've never done that with an owl, so here we go. Yeah, roll to see if it can successfully be kept hidden. Yeah, its stealth stat is a plus three, so here we go. R, D, 23. Oh, 14. Um, that's, that's not bad. I'll say, I'll say he said it. Okay. <laughs> 14 he's, is he's, something. Yeah, he's small, so he can, I won't make this, you know, 
he'll he'll he's got he's got he'll hide fine. And okay. So that's my turn. Okay, nice. Next is Vendetta's turn, the giant woman. The giant woman. Alright, um for this turn, Vendetta will cast darkness, darkness. on herself. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Nice. So please do my darkness. And then movement, 5, 10, hang on, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I be there? You can, you can. Okay. Oh, it's pretty big, no? Can and people still see? <laughs> yeah, can people still see? Should I just stay someplace else? That's okay, it's okay. Be there, it's fine. Okay. It's protecting me, Monsad. All right. How about Kia Boom? Are you um, hindered by darkness, or is that okay? Um, I don't. No, wait, I have to check. Maybe I can just move. Maybe if I'm here, I think okay lang. Makabot ah. Okay. Sige. Okay. Sige, go <laughs> there, and then I will bonus action. Um, Hexblade's curse on Venji. Ooh, Benji. Benji. <laughs> Benji. <laughs> Damn Benji. And that's it. I can just do my buffs for the first turn. Nice. Okay. There we go. Uh, Next will be Draven. Draven, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, since we're far away, so there's no way to do melee. <laughs> so I'll just uh, move here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 here. And then I'll move my shadow. 5, shadow. 10, 15, 20, 25. So I can assume since it's halfway, right? So I can see out he can see outside yes the, the okay also the circle is bigger than it should because uh, only dms can change the the size of yeah. attachments oh yeah uh but you can change it raf it's supposed to be just three squares outward from mm -hmm. vendetta how do i do that uh um uh, so you select this thing. There's like a little thing here. I'm circling it. Uh, you can, we can reduce it like that. Can we? Yeah. I I, I'm, I'm uh, I think, there. Uh, I think oh. it's just Firefox that doesn't let me do it. Uh. <laughs> okay. There. That's the actual size. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Um, my shadow's there, so I'll just attack with my javelin from there. So, bonus action, rage. Rage. Nice. Um, and I will reckless attack, so all my attacks have advantage. Reckless. No. Javelin. Okay, let's go. ADV, and then... Two damage. Extra. 23 to hit. That hits. Uh, 14 damage for the first attack. Okay. Right. Wait. And then second attack. Javelin. And if uh, D2. Uh, 30 to hit. Wow. Uh, 12 mm. damage. What? Okay, yeah, that hits. <laughs> and then for the third attack. And a uh, there the two twenty nine to hit fourteen damage. Nice. Oh my god. And for my last attack for dread ambusher. Uh, <laughs> Gloom Does all things hit my dude? It yeah. all hits, it all hits. Okay. And wait, wait, wait. D one. Vigilant they could actually be vigilant. Like with that apostrophe. That is true. That is true. Uh, vigilant. Wait, huh? Ah, commands. 
23 hits. 23 hits. 19 damage. Yeah. That's pretty good. Damn. 59 is... damage total. Okay. How many? How many? 59? Yeah. 14, 12, 14, 19. So, ven- Vengeance uh, gets all of that. Vengeance. Nice. Yeah, and that's my turn. It's halfway there. Uh, for Draven, you hurl your javelin and uh, and uh, send all your attacks at Vengeance. And as the bell strikes her, um, she is uh, bleeding out. But the blood, instead of red, it's colored purple and green. So yeah. And she's roaring at you in anger. Uh, correction, she's roaring at my shadow. <laughs> yes. But she doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys. Uh, can you hey, imagine and the darkness and then a shadow came out of the darkness? That's the gear. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that's a cool, I know, visual, yeah. Uh, is there anything else you will do with your shadow? Will you move something? Um, that's it. That's where my shadow will stay. Okay, that's a good turn. Trandafira, now it's your turn. Oh, nice. I like to imagine that when Fira casts a spell as an action, Fira is going to enter the darkness in a walking fashion. Ah, oh, charm model. Catwalk. Going to turn into his form of dread, and I will cast her image. And the way he does this is the hands detach in a gross way and grow into three more Trendafiras, pulling out the blasphemy oh, blade. Oh my god. Nice. Nice. That's a sight. Oh. Cool. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so cool buns i love that uh, i love how you described it yeah uh, i'll give you a wish one for that hey. yeah, that's that's so cool. yeah uh and then there we go that's uh, that ends his turn actually he did everything with all yeah uh, next is the, it's the, it's the, it's the girlies over here. They're, it's their turn to attack. So, Benji is pissed and will go for the shadow and try to attack. And she has no idea what's going to happen when she attacks it. So I'm going to roll to attack this guy. And she wants to get up close and personal. So, so we will. <laughs> Let me roll. Um, what's your AC again, Draven? Uh, for that one, uh, 19. 19. Barely legal. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. Uh, second attack. Oh. Third attack. Okay, so Vengeance tri- strikes its uh, claws at you. Its claws is made out of like like teeth, tusks, and bones, and it tries to swipe at your shadow. Um, your shadow dodges at the first turn, but then it uh, Vengeance swipes the second and the third time, and and he gets uh, your shadow gets hit. So I'll be rolling damage for for this one. You, you only get like two damage. I mean, not two damage. I'm, you get 17 and you get a total of 28 piercing damage from the attack, your shadow specifically. Okay. So as that happens, the shadow will just wink at the Benji and it will disappear. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Yikes. Okay. No. Benji is a dum dum. <laughs> you even can summon it again next turn, so it's fine. Oh. Uh, let's see. The next, the next batteries they will attack too. But hold on, let me look at my. Mm-hmm. The the teeth takers. Teeth taker. Teeth taker. Teeth taker. 
these guys are have a huge movement. So this one will be up here, see si Dark Bunny, and he crawls over and he doesn't notice uh Siege and Vigil hiding over here underneath, ironically, because they're hidden. But he will uh point at Sorka. Oh no. Because she's the only one that can be seen. And you see electricity dancing around Dark Bunny's fingers and he casts a bolt, lightning bolt at you. Oh no. So Sarka, please do a dex save. As if like, like, like he's also shooting a gun, right? Yeah. He's doing that uh, finger gun motion, you know. Mm. <laughs> Does a 29 save me? Huh? 29. 29 is a save. So, <laughs> since you have evasion because you're a rogue, you get no damage. <laughs> yeah. She does the, was... the firebending lightning like uh, 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 counter uh, thing. Azula. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. And meanwhile, Vigilant will crawl over here in this area, but since everyone is still covered in darkness, it can't see anything. So what it will try to do is, uh, it is going to it is going to ready an action when it sees someone come out of the darkness. Press oh, the right. Smart. And then Robin will be floating over here at the darkness, and this is as far as he, I think this is as far as he can go. Let me let me let me make sure. I'm not messing this. So, so he was here. Five. Then. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. So he, he's here. He will release a fifteen-foot cone from here. And I don't know who's going to reach here, but um, do, does someone have a 15-foot cone situation here, the, the shape? Uh, I want to see... Robin or Vigilant? I'll draw it. Robin, Robin. Five, ten, what? It doesn't reach any of us. Nobody. Oh, it doesn't reach anyone? Like that. Yeah. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, that's good. Robin has no way of knowing this side, so... He will release a pulse of psionic energy, but it, you know, it only, it doesn't even reach up to Vendetta, so, yeah. That's right. Bitch. You ain't powerful now. Nope. <laughs> Just kidding. And, yeah, that, uh, that ends the turn of the, the baddies. Next is Sorka's turn. Yeah. Can I do my tattoo, Um. That's gonna take time, Baba. Does it like take an action to activate? What does the description say, B.I.? It says that it requires a two-month long. A two uh, what? No, that's that's just to have the tattoo. Uh, mm. So, do I have it mm. oh, You can right. have it. Yeah, you have the tattoo already, yeah. Right. You guys know that cat from Sailor Moon, the on her forehead? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes! She has a Nice. Yeah. What do I call this effect? I have no idea. What effect? Is this like a buff of some kind? I'm unfamiliar with this. Yeah, the ghost tattoo buff. Uh, it, uh... Ghost step tattoo. Hang on. Uh, I, ghost wonder if I, can... I think that makes you... You can turn ethereal. Was it ethereal, right? I can pass through solid objects. Yeah. You can turn oh. ethereal and you can pass through solid oh, objects. But that's you can't so cool. stop in the solid object because you'll take force damage. Yeah. I am giving Dante this. <laughs> take notes, everyone. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> and then, so, yeah, so, so of course, mm -hmm. of course, because you know, Dark Bunny tried to electrocute me. <laughs> I was trying to attack. It was it was dark money the moment I kiss me. Yes. Huh? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna zoom over there one two three.
Yung kabo sa here, no? Ah, mm-hmm. but they're elevated, no? Yeah, but don't worry. Uh, you can still hit them. Alright. See over here, buddy. And then I will do my usual, my signature. I will swing, swing. How do I do a galley A? Uh, you can do... Uh, you can do a no, uh, exclamation mark A, then uh, Lex. Red. We're basically saying Alex. Yeah. Alex! Is it 20 hit? Yes, a 20 hits. All right. And damage. Yeah, since your allies are happen to be nearby, Sud, in a way, uh, it takes the sneak attack damage. Mm. Don't forget about that, a sneak. A sneak? Mm. Oh, let's go. Wow. Oh my gosh. Nine plus 29. Oof. That's just for my one action. So 38 plus 22, 60. Wow. Mm-hmm. 60 damage so far, bud. Yeah, that's still my first action. For my bonus action, I'll take another swing. Ooh. So that's gonna be a... Oh, did you activate your ghost thing? Or not this round long? Not this round. Ah, that's... Yeah, okay. Attack. Yeah, a dodge. Twenty-four nice. hit and plus seven damage. Got it. Okay. Um, very nice. Very nice. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll say. Yeah, I'll say here alone. Okay. I'll be brave. I'll <laughs> be brave. I'll be brave. All right, so that's the end of your turn, and now it's the top of the round. So, uh, TJ, it's your turn now with the sneak. Uh, can I attack on dark? Yeah, you can attack, and uh, you have advantage. You're out of hiding, and you have like two friends over here. Okay, I'll All right. attack this guy with my con like Stalinist blade. Nice. Alex ADB. AD. Oh, wow. 11 damage. And then sneak attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, us. 18. Okay. And then do I, I will booming blade, blade it? Oh, no. Okay. Booming blade. Or 3d6, right? Wait, wait, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, think, I believe so, 3d6. Yeah. No, oh, no, there are the 8s. The 8s are. Ah, okay. Yeah, the 8. The 8. And then he's boom. So let's put that. Boom. Boom. Yep. Unless. Goodness. Oh my gosh. 39 damage so far. Wow, dude. 39? Yeah. Yeah, 39 plus 67. 106. Okay, Teach. So is this a lethal or a non-lethal takedown? Let's go uh, lethal, bro. Okay. <laughs> so how do you slay Dark Bunny? Yeah. Slay? Um, Mm, I don't know. I I cut him up into multiple pieces and then I spit on him. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Dad, your um rapier shines with the booming blade energy, and yeah, it somehow slices through Dark Bunny's like bone and teeth, uh, you know, torso and. Yeah, a, a bones and teeth are just scattered everywhere as you cut him and kill him. Yeah, so, yeah. and then I emote before nice. I had my guns. 
Nice, yep, nice. That's okay. my turn. Very good turn. Next is Vigil Stern. That's a shame. I actually wanted to uh, panash him. Oh. So that he won't hit the other people. Nice. It's okay, so that, man. You know, yeah. everyone gets an order. I'll do that some other time. I will. Uh... I'll, I'll go here. And I'll shoot Benji. Okay. Benji! Roll to shoot Benji. Benji the Veggie. <laughs> What are with these names, man? <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, oh, I, I, oh, I want to charge it. Nice. Okay, you spend one charge. Roll a 2d10. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. That's 20 points total. Awesome. So, 20 points. Uh, okay, is that it? Got other oh. things you want to do, bro? Uh, yeah, since he came out of hiding, he can do this with advantage. So can you roll again just to see if he crit? Oh, and he gets sneak oh. attack then, if that's the case. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. So far. Okay, uh, no. But <laughs> he, takes the tw he takes the 20 damage and then um, sneak attack, uh, Carlo. A sneak. Nice. Oh. Ghetto. That's a lot of numbers. It be did. 23, 43 damage plus 74. Yeah, that's way over 120, 110 already. Yeah. So, Vigil, how do you, how do you kill Venji? <laughs> um, I, I don't know how to creatively shoot someone. I guess I can okay. pretend to curve the bullet, but it, you know, I just know how to shoot in time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you you just fire. You, well, the 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 gun holy avenger fire oh, the. Oh wait, I got it! I got it! I got it! I I spin my gun. Yeah. And I do like a lot of twirls, and I I, I juggle it like from left to right. <laughs> so extra. And I pass it behind my back. I catch it and I shoot him. And I holster. Nice. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, and then the bullet is shining with radiant energy, and as it hits Benji straight in the heart, it. Uh, explode! It explodes and destroys the torso in a flash of light, and now it's also dead. And I'm disappointed in myself because I missed the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then I go here. Okay. Here we darkness. All right. Next is Homer. Homer, what do you All do? Right. Okay, I'm in darkness right now, so uh, yeah, I can't see anything. <laughs> what would, oh, no. would I do if I don't know where I'm heading? The last thing I saw was this guy was here before the darkness came. So with that in mind, I'm heading in that direction. Five and bump into Vendetta on the way. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Uh, bump into Vigil on the way. <laughs> 20, like, 25, Wait. and then I finally see what's going on here. Um, oh, how far was I? I right hear 5, 10, 5, 10. Uh, okay, and then I see Rob in here now, but I don't yeah. see Vigil in. Yeah, he's um he's crouching. He's crouching and hiding. <laughs> he's crouching. <laughs> All right. So seeing this situation, uh, Robin's an eyeball. Fuck, I don't know what to do against an eyeball. <laughs> you poke it. You poke it. Exactly. You say hi. Say you, hi. You wink at it. <laughs> you have yeah, such beautiful eye. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Jesus, what did I just hear? Anyways. <laughs> um, hold on. I gotta check my stuff, the woodland abilities. I don't think I have anything that will be super helpful for this. Okay, that in mind. I'm just going to pull him closer to the darkness. So, uh, take one more step back 
here or no 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 i should stay here no. in i need one more stop and then i will use thorn whip Oof. i need to roll right oh, i roll oh so cast Why? Twenty nine to hit. That hits. All right, and then takes eleven damage. Oof. Eleven damage. All right, and then pull it up to ten feet closer. I will pull it ten feet closer. Five. And. All right. Then, what's my action? Anything as yeah. bonus? Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, I can't do anything as a bonus. All right. I'll end my turn here and tell him, come get me, piece of shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then Good. Feather's turn. Let's see, he's still hidden here, no? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Feather can't see in the darkness, though, so he will fall back a little bit na lang. 5, and 15, and then still do another hide. Hopefully he rolls better. Let's try. Uh, R, 20 plus 3. 21, that's so much better. Let's go yeah, with that. He yeah, he should. Right. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Simple turns for now, gang. Nice. Next is Dusk Bunny's turn. Fuck so let's yes. Go. That's when he's gonna gonna head towards the direction of Homer as well, thinking that um, Venji's still alive. It's five, ten here. By the time he gets here, he's able to now see Robin because he has blind sense up to ten feet, and then he's like, "Oh, hello! That's a big target." And then he, that's when he goes all the way out here. Uh, this doesn't impose disadvantage on him because he has the gunner feet. Oh, okay. So he's just like in the darkness and then like raising the Imperator up at this eye, like point blank range. And he's gonna attack it. Oh. Uh, Robin point cannot see into the darkness or anything. Yeah, Robin cannot see into the darkness. Cool. So I'm doing this with Sharpshooter. ADV. Uh, dash. Bonus is minus 5 to hit. And then dash D for 10 extra damage. First attack. Boom! 27 to hit, 21 damage. Yes. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me put that here. 27 hit, 21 damage, and then <clears throat> uh, he's now gonna be the new favored foe, so I will do that. Uh, favored foe, a boom, uh, that's extra 4 damage. <clears throat> so, fave foe, 4 damage, and then... Uh, he is going to do a <clears throat> uh, superiority. He's gonna use a superiority die to do a trip. At, uh, no, wait. Okay. Um, when shooting a prone creature from range, that gives the shooter disadvantage, right? Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, if you're within five feet, then it should be. But then there's a melee. There's a ranged attack in melee, no? It's a ranged attack I in melee. I, I will leave that to the DM to decide. <laughs> That's a very unique situation. Hmm. I will say attacking a prone creature with a ranged weapon in melee distance. To make my life super easy, let's just say you do it with advantage. With advantage? 
Oh, uh, wait, no. Or regular? Um, let's just make it a flat roll. Let's make it a flat roll. Okay, cool. So, he will use superiority die 1d8. Boom. To do... Um, what what was it again? So, superiority 1 damage. To do trip attack. So, please make a strength saving throw. DC is what's my DC? Seventeen. DC seven. That's so funny. He fails. He fails. Uh, he is now prone. The eye is on the ground. Yeah. Okay. On the ground. That was my the first attack. The eye is on the ground. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> So that was my first attack. This is my extra, my second attack. Extra attack, Imperator advantage. Same thing, sharpshooter advantage because I am an unseen attacker. It's a flat roll of attacking a pro, prone, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Critical! Hey! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Everything's gonna be doubled here. Uh... Um, 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 so I'm gonna use my sneak attack doubled here. Uh, hang on, let me... Uh, makes let, perfect sense. Let me, let me do that first. Actually, can I move my favorite foe to this one also? But the superior three will be the previous one, Gihap one. Move your favorite foe to who? Ah, Which no. The joint. To, to this the extra, joint? to this sec, to, no, to the second attack. Ah, oh. uh, okay, so yes, you can go. So, yeah. wait. Does that does that count? Uh, it does, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. So that's okay. twenty five, twenty no, twenty hit, twenty five damage, and then I will sneak attack first, twice. A sneak, a sneak. That's twelve plus thirteen is another twenty five. And then that's already half its HP. They want 25 and 25. So, is it still, uh, I think it's still alive though. Uh, I'll do another favored foe, which uh, roll. What's favored foe? Is it just 1d4? It's just 1d4. So I'll do our uh, favored foe. Uh, so, oh, that's another 4. Boom boom. Another four. Fave four. so far, bro. Four. It'd be... I'm gonna rearrange this because this was supposed to be like that. That sneak attack damage is twice. And then I'm also going to use another superiority die on this one. And that gets doubled also. Mm -hmm. uh, so R2d8. And uh while he is already prone and on the ground. Dust Bunny is gonna do a pushing attack, so it basically like shoots him down into the ground, right? For another nine oh, damage. Uh, yep. Anga, did you action surge? No. This is still my second attack, dude. Um, I think you can only do superiority dice once per turn. Once per attack. Ah, okay. Yep. Uh, pushing a nine damage. The first one was trip. Okay. Uh, that sneak attack favorite foe. Okay, cool. Bonus action. Wait, let me let's let's calculate the damage first because he might be dead already. That's twenty one plus one. It's twenty two. Plus eighty nine, bro. I already did the math for you. It's eighty nine already. Plus the eleven damage earlier is already one hundred damage. Yeah, it might be dead or it might not be. It's not. Oh, this is Robin. Thing, right? Ah, yeah. yeah. How are, how's the how's Robin looking? One hundred damage. This the eye some of the, the eyeballs have you seen pictures of damaged eyeballs? Yeah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> no, don't send it. Don't send it. <laughs> Not sending it, but you can imagine. Okay, cool. So I am going to use a bonus action to do to use the Imperator's speed feature. So this mm -hmm. is my third attack. A oh my god. Imperator. One B Oh, minus five. Oh, it's already dash. pushed, right? Or how does this pushing work? What's the timing? Uh, 
Uh, I, I'm using it as as like flavor na lang na push siya down into the ground because, eh, di ba? Okay. I can yeah. I understand. I understand. <laughs> yeah. uh, the ten. I sorry 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 with ADV on that now I'll just roll another roll another one so you can go yeah I'll just I'll just roll it again but we'll take we'll take the damage of the first one uh, it's okay. just 25 it's 25 to hit 22 damage so let me just delete this second one uh so 25 hit 22 damage and then I no I cannot favor it again but I will do another pushing attack into the ground so that's another one D in place or should I actually no I'll I'll save that for what's his name Golgotha Golgotha but also known as shit, what was his name again? Adam. Adam, Adam. Levine, Joe <laughs> Calvary. That is everything. Eighty nine plus twenty two is ninety two so far, dude. One how much? A one twenty two no, total. The total damage. Yeah. Right. But do you want to calculate your damage? It's I think my damage is just nine. Minus eleven. Yeah. One eleven. One oh eleven. Uh, one, one, one. So Dust Bunny shot it at the face. Boosh, the, uh, it, it falls to the ground and then two shots onto the ground. Boosh, boosh, and then raises the Imperator and then uh, just, just says, uh, I was going to say nice to see you, but you don't look so good. And he ends his Stop turn. Stop it. <laughs> And turn. You give up. Um, got a wishbone for that disgusting pun. So <laughs> well played, well played. <laughs> Rob, oh Rob is so done with you. Yes, yes, Draven, Gloomstalker's rock. <laughs> it's great. Sheesh. Anyway, Vendetta, it's your turn. All right. <laughs> okay, Vendetta will move five. Then, uh, 15, 20, oh 25. God, become huge. <laughs> 25. Okay. All right, sure. I will bonus action, use giant might to make oh. myself even larger. Let's go. Oh my God. God. Mommy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's not do that. Mother. Male. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> what? Okay. So, so I, I won't like that for a solid nine uh, square. No, it's okay. I think it's good. Like, uh, yeah, just keep it like that long. That's good. That's okay. Good. One, two, three. All right. And then I will attack uh, Robin. Oh, wow. Attack. Uh, with advantage. Hang on. Okay, talk Extra attack. Um, do I roll um two d fours for my coin? Enlarge. Critical. Uh, Critical. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> yeah, you get an extra d four from enlarge too. So please yeah. modify your damage. Oh. Yeah, D4 okay. and um, then 1d6 from your from this rune knight enlargement. So yeah. Okay. 1d4 and 1d6. Yeah, because the ball 1d6 when you do the rune knight giant thingy, the ball. Yeah. It, okay. it doubles on a crit too. Oh my god. So how many do I roll? How many in total for your first attack is 1d4, 1d6, and then for the second one which is a crit, that's 2d6, 2d4. So 3d6 and 3d total. I joke. 3, 3, 17 so far, 21, 6 plus 
11. Oh my gosh, 55 damage so far. Jesus. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Against oh. Vigilant, no? Uh, against Robin, please. Ay, okay. Okay, okay. 55 total so far. Ooh. Is it looking okay still? It's still alive, actually. Ah. Okay, and then, and I just, after, after that, um, attack, Vendetta will say, Hey, Robin, what did the eyeball say when it tasted cheesecake? Oh, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's too I for. <laughs> it's oh, too I for. She's doing it too. <laughs> 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 and that's it. I stay Are we there. Doing this, huh? Are we just <laughs> okay. Go with our line now, for hit. bro. <laughs> I just... don't know why I reward bad behavior, but sure, give yourself a wish. <laughs> Rafi, you don't want to have children, right? I think that should be uh... <laughs> that should. Be... Okay. Yeah. That's it. And my turn. Okay. 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 So you can go. Uh. Oh my. Uh, Next Draven. is Draven's turn. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to summon my shadow again. Let's go, oh. shadow. And then he's going to move here to attack Robin. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, since everyone's ganging up on. <laughs> May as well. Yeah. Um, okay. Twenty-seven to hit. That one hits. Why are you all rolling above twenty? <laughs> Go on. Is it great weapon master? Go. Yeah. Let's uh, thirty-three damage. Let's go. Let's fucking go. He's the to hit. That <laughs> Forty damage. Basically that. The melee version of Dusk Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. This one. Anyone hits that? 38, 38 damage. But he also did 111 damage. You weren't kidding. Yeah, and. <laughs> Unleash Incarnation. Unleash! Ah, uh, 18 to hit. Oh, that does not hit. Sorry. Yeah, I think that doesn't. 20, no? 20. Yeah, you want to use oh, wish Draven. bones? Do you want to use some of the party wish bones? Use it. Six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, it. It's like over leaves, basically. Well, if you can. If if adding two hits, then. Yeah. Yes. Okay, use I'll, it. I'll add two, note. please. <laughs> no problem. And yeah, I think that's the end of my turn. End of the turn. And then... Excellent. Wait, One forty-five damage total. Wait, is he is he still okay? Uh, Robin is still fine. He's actually a total of three twenty-two. <laughs> he's actually still okay. He's on his last legs, though. Okay. okay. What legs? Oh, it's a floating legs. eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll keep um, Shadow there, and Draven will just move here. One. And then that's the end of my turn. Okay. Next is trying to fear a stern. And fear uh, maybe maybe you na, you know, maybe you're the maybe it's time to get revenge on the guy who implanted those aberrations on you all those years ago, you know? So he's uh... going to open to use this. All his attacks, what they're going to look like is the arms. To break through the darkness and start swinging at Dark Bunny. Do you mean Robin or Dark Bunny? What, what's have? Huh? I think he meant Robin because he's okay. Okay. Robin, okay. <laughs> I'm assuming me in the darkness give me advantage, and Robin won't know which one's the real one that's swinging at him. Okay. So roll, roll to attack with advantage. <laughs> Let's go. Let's, uh... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. 
Seventeen to hit. Seventeen does not hit. You wanna use some wishbone? He has a, he has an extra attack because he's in his form of dreadman. Ah. So. Hey, you, can... you wanna use a wishbone? <laughs> Singular wishbone. You wanna use a sundial? <laughs> you wanna buy a sundial? Okay, so so your extra attack, uh, none of them hit. But yeah, I think you should use like a single ano lang. You can use the your second attack is nineteen. You're like one wishbone away, you know. I'll use the wishbone for that nineteen. Okay. Roll to, roll to, uh, roll to hit and uh, roll the marge. Do it with sneak attack as well. Yeah, roll the marge. Oh, damn The marge and sneak attack. All these dice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy because they use wish bones at an alarming rate. Yeah, we're no, not fighting I'm... Golgotha yet. <laughs> Being supportive, guys. I'm your. I'm not just your DM. I'm your hype man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So six plus twelve. That's eighteen. Okay. Oh, and then roll, roll sneak to see what the. Man, I gave this guy like a high HP, but still, you all just like gang up on this poor guy and. Oh. Not of this. course, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Can't escape. Escape this okay. when people decided to be five rogues. Oh. <laughs> I will never forgive this. <laughs> 357 damage total so far. Okay. Sophira. Explain to me. No, I can't. Robin's gone. He's gone. Explain to me how you take vengeance on the guy that tormented you and your brothers years ago, you know? By putting gross aberrations on you. Oh, this is so. Yeah. Yeah. Appropriate. So. The the, the trend of fear that the last blow on Robin. Yeah. We love um, poetic cinema, you know? Yeah, accessible, accessible uh, for for the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dust bunny is rubbing off on Mika, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just overshadow being like unhinged, you know. Ooh, okay, where's the message? Built his head a little bit of a grotesque way, and the mirror image is going to follow. His grin reaches to his ears before he raises all arms. This is the monster you gave me. I'll be using it on you now. And he tears the eyes into bits with his hands. Ah, oh, that's so good. I mean, yeah. it's it's scary, but it's good. Yeah. It is. And yeah, he somehow you have this monster strength, like that, just you know, um, found within within you, Fira. You just with your multiple arms, you just rip out the cornea and the retina and the uh, and the uh, and the jelly. You know, jelly is just bursting out of Robin as you tear him apart, yeah. and uh, you just hear shrieks coming out of the eye, and and yeah, it is satisfying and it is disgusting, but somehow beautiful as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? So yeah, and Robin's dead now, guys. So yay! Hey. Robin's dead. Yay. yay! Yay! Justice for the View family, for the three brothers. Yeah. Three brothers. Was, was Robin was Robin a zombie, no? Yeah, he was a zombie, and then he turned into a zombie eyeball. Like um. the Gansha character <laughs> development this uh, campaign. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I will assume that this is uh, Fira's, the end of Fira's turn. So, next will be um, the final contestant of America's Next Teeth Taker, Vigilant. And Vigilant. 
Yeah, his reaction was his ready action was wasted, so he will <laughs> crawl out of the darkness and he will see the um, opportunity. Oh no! <laughs> no. Let's fucking trust go! Me. I forgot! Fuck! Okay, go! Stay back! <laughs> Stay there! <laughs> Stay <laughs> back in the darkness! Um, hang on. Sentinel! <laughs> Sentinel! Pull our master! Also? I hate this! Oh my god! <laughs> I will. What is that? What is the command, Ganilio, for. No, just your arm? fang. Your fang attack. Ah, I cannot Eldritch Blast this. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. What was that? You. Like a booming blade or some shit. Oh, you because you're one. Warcaster? Yeah! Oh, oh my god. Good job, oh, babe. God. So, what's my command? No, just do your fang and then we'll, cal we'll add booming blade manually with like 2d8 or something. Oh. Yeah. 32. <laughs> Speed is zero now. Oh my god. It's be dead. Joke, Debito. No. It be stuck. And so I add to the eight. Yeah, R to the eight. I was gonna lightning bolt Draven Sorka and teach and then this happens. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Instead they got electrocuted in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen plus eight is 25, I believe. 25. Uh, 25 uh, damage. And they yes. are zero, zero speed. Uh, zero speed. Uh, one way. Okay. <laughs> and they are boom panes. Boom panes, bro. Stop it. <laughs> Roll for boom panes damage. <laughs> mana, mana. Done na, done na. 25 oh. total damage. I hate this. Okay, fine. So, uh, Vigil Vigilant was, you know, trying to be sneaky and was crawling to try and, you know, and there was like electricity arcing throughout his body. But then all of a sudden, Vendetta saw him nope. in the darkness. And then yeah. he was not, he was not her. vigilant enough. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> His glaive. Uh, I'm gonna her die glaive now. Shone, yeah, her glaive shone um, booming blade energy and struck him down and kept him in place. You know, stabbed him in the in the leg to keep him in place. So, does yeah. he get? Does he get wounded, ba? Uh, he will get wounded. I have to roll for that. All right, there's their wounds. What the fuck, man? Uh. What do I, uh... Okay, I fail. I know I failed this. So yeah, I am wounded. Oh, yes. babe, I think you also add your... Your your big-ass damage. Your big-ass... Your giant yeah, damage. Yeah, your 1d4 and 1d6. Wait, why do I add 1d6 also, Gani? From, from being... From, from being gianter. From being a giant. Yeah. A gianter, okay. <laughs> oh my god, shit. what the fuck? <laughs> Snake okay, eyes. fine. It's fine. Twenty-seven. <laughs> that was. And then the that wound. Was a good turn. The wound. Mm -hmm. the Did they wound, save? Yeah. Can you roll a one d four? Oh. One d four. Shit. They are also wounded. Wound one, right? Uh, it doesn't one stack, Rafi, right? These types of wounds. No. Yeah, they don't stack. They don't. Got stack, it. Got no. it. So, so 29, 29 total damage. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Vigilant is uh, stranded. And that ends his turn. So next is Sorka's turn. What do you do? Sorka Bliat. So... Is he in the darkness? Part yeah, of him is it. poking out, yeah. Yeah, so you can see the ones that poke out. Okay. You can you can actually reach him if you do your bonus action to dash. Or your tabaxi uh -huh. movement, your feline agility. Yeah. Oh yeah, that too, yeah. I can reach one I have forty feet. 
Oh, yes, you can. So I can say so. Zoom. Zoom. Does it count as a sneak attack though? Because I was like way over here. Or did it? They, uh, it counts as a sneak attack because they're blinded in the darkness and you're an unseen yes. attacker. Yeah. So, so yes. stab them. Signature <laughs> moves. Hey, let's... Is that the... Oh, I'm in all. With, With advantage. Cool. Three, four. 24 hits. And then another one. Another one. Another one. 29. Oh my Critical! god, that's, so critical. Hey, that's what that's what that's go. the one you use your sneak attack on. Double sneak attack, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll double sneak attack. What is that? Uh, like two A sneaks? Yeah, two yeah. A sneaks should do the trip. Seven. Sheesh. Thirty-one. Sheesh. And twenty-three. There you That's go. Fifty-four. Seventy damage. Oh Ridiculous. Twenty-nine. Oh. It's at ninety-nine. It, one more damage and it's dead. Oh. Oh no. Poke it. <laughs> one more. <laughs> damage. Sc scratch it with your claw or something. Just scratch it in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. No, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see who's the. Well, maybe Teach will get him. You know. We'll, Probably. We'll see. <laughs> so, top of the round, TJ. Um, go ahead. Finish off. Uh, you know the Teeth Taker's next top model. Lah, you mo guys. Teach, can Teach out can dash no cunning action. Yeah. No, yeah, even can... with his speed, he can be <laughs> on the left side of Sorka, and then that's enough. Speed the man. That's mm. true. Seems good. <laughs> 40, 45. 45, your movement? No, 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 40. One. 40. Okay. See, let's go. Roll to stab the guy. <laughs> yup. Same attack as last time. Stabby stab. Stabby stab. Boom. Advantage, ADV. No, no, no. Okay, oh, oh. never mind. What's <clears throat> ADV? They're blind. Uh, cause, oh. cause the guy is blinded. So try rolling again. We'll see if critical hits. Ya. Do not ADV this. Okay. Just RD20. Just RD20. Okay. okay. Oh, well. Okay, okay. 20 to hit. Sigila. 7 damage. Dead Seven no. damage. And then... With sneak attack. Yeah, not. even without sneak attack, you got him. So... Even without oh. it. Yeah. So tell me, how do you, um... Kill this guy? Still, still. Same as last time. I... I, like... <clears throat> imagine I'm just... Not running, like, I'm just hopping around. And then I <laughs> arrive here. And then I just pew, poke, use my like, sunless braid and I just yeah. Nice. And now the final contestant is dead. <laughs> yeah guys. Yeah. So now it's time for the real battle. Oh, but uh Golgoth is not here actually. He 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 walked back to his throne room. Yeah. So you have to yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> While you were busy. Oh, and um, these guys are, are dead. They collapsed into a pile of teeth and bones. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. They're dead now. And it's now time to proceed to the main event, you know? Shit. Yeah. So I will change the map now, guys. Uh, your your stuff is still there. Don't worry. Um, except for the ones that last like, um, uh, no, you know what? Your one minute stuff full. Do you have stuff that lasts for like one minute only? Uh, I don't. Darkness, no. Okay, okay, it's fine. It it takes a few seconds to just walk into the throne room anyway. So, ah, uh, uh. I shall 
change the map and we shall go to our throne room throne room about our buffs right now uh -huh. what uh, i'm seeing i'm seeing ban say like one minute on form of dread uh I will say you, you still keep your buffs. Like, I won't say the, a walk to the throne room doesn't take like a full ass minute. So, uh, you know, keep your buffs. You're gonna need a stun. Okay. Ooh, there's a puzzle. And then. Oh, I'm so shit at puzzles. I'll put you, I'll put our test. Uh, DJ put um the curve. The thingy, ni, um, token, ni. there we go. Thank you. Okay, uh, I have to put the, I'll add the grids here, huh? Because, because this is a huge map, and we will we'll be all confused if we there's no grid. Okay, just checking. Is someone tracking people? effects on themselves as well I track mine my mirror image was only one minute it's still, still up have darkness. Oh, okay. I will say all your one minute buffs will last for like uh, five more rounds how does that sound to everyone mm. so 30 seconds have okay, passed five more rounds. that's all we needed <laughs> Does that sound good? Does that sound, do you know? Well, well, five rounds? Okay. That sounds more than fair. All right. Let's see, go. Okay, guys. Here is Golgotha, and, and he's still in Rome, and he tells you guys, I guess you're all adamant in mur murdering me. Well, then, I'll make sure there's nothing left of your body. So guys, I want you to roll initiative for the last time in oh, this thing no. with our body. The this is for the final time. battle. Oh, no. oh, I have to in it and hold on guys. In it, and it's so far oh. away. <laughs> it is. I can't breathe. Oh, I can that, that voice guys. modulator is really catching <laughs> me off guard. I can imagine your character saying that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like pointing at them with his, with his palm. It's so far away. <laughs> You know what's worse? He can fly! <laughs> okay, um, let's, let's go. Good thing we have guns. Slay! I hate- How to know if- <sighs> How to know if Golgotha can see in darkness? Oh, we know. Secret. <laughs> no, Rafi Secret. told us last time, right? Remember? Yeah. Alright! Ah! You told us last yeah. time. Killing. Wait, um, yeah, what? Wait, you wanna go ahead? Okay, same the roll. Oh, uh, do, uh, do people roll the same uh, numbers. We a boom can go first. Okay. I, 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 uh, I can go ahead. All right. Okay. Boys so first. So this is basically in the actual order it's supposed to be in. Okay, guys. There is a there's a there's a very good sign here because I rolled a six. So yes. you know, let's go. How close? Oh, how close can we be? Last. How close can we go in further? DM. Yeah, they're so far away. We can't do anything. <laughs> the first round. Uh, We're, I think we'll be da know, dashing for the first two yeah, rounds. This is really bullshit, and I'm annoyed though. I'll I'll uh. You can, uh, I'll put you guys. Yeah, this well, this is not time efficient, and I, do, I hate nothing more than time inefficiency. We'll put you, <laughs> you're in the circle. You're gonna be a great talker. Okay, developer. cool. You're in the circle. Uh, cool, in the circle, great. okay, sure. Link, I, the previous sessions we know already, man, nga. Koan can see in the darkness when we, when my hot uncle Nikolai died. Yeah. Oh, so I, I so. yeah. So Vendetta knows now that darkness won't work. 
Uh, I will tell you this, like, uh, he can see through the dark. He's, uh, uh. he's a girl boss. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I'm thankful for that, because I can finally see you and heal you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, your darkness is, um, it's not going to be a bit useful, but now, in this fight. So, are you are dropping, some... dr- dropping concentration, Mika? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Draven, you're too close. I said in the circle. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, Question: Maka yeah. maka ko link if I be- decide to become even larger. For for fuck's sake. I don't think you can. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I reconnected. What's up? What's up? It's this is the largest I can go, right? I think so. Yeah. Hmm. But you know, okay. this is good enough. You can basically grapple anything in the game now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It'd be funny though, because I have but like four more slots of enlarge. Oh my god, what are you gonna do with four more slots? <laughs> can you? <laughs> you can't. There, there's nothing else you can use. I can only do that once per fight, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. It doesn't stack, man. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, are we are we ready? For the... Round one is me? Oh my god, this is like a dream come true. Hello. Yes. The final countdown. Do it. Banish. Decimate. Oh. Disintegrate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if only. Unfortunately, I'm a druid. I can't do any of those cool All right. things. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, am oh, I gonna guys, go now? The era is 23. So, Ooh. I show you. He's uh he's first in line the yeah, Okay, okay. I didn't see that Luggy. Ah, uh, you rolled a bit late there, Siguro. Okay, okay. Here we go. Putting you on twenty three. Okay, uh fear up please type down um what you gonna do. What you gonna, gonna do? Show you. Hello, first in line. What are you gonna do to um the king of the hags and the father of monsters? Going to, going to what? Eldritch Blast. Ooh. <laughs> the old classic. It's okay. not as bad. There's like some white and red scribbles here. Yeah. Oh. Let's not. Let's pretend I think we it's don't a, notice that. I think it's a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> or a a layer a layer action. Awesome. Oh shit, I forgot. There is a layer action too. Hold on, let me end up in the... <laughs> Fuck, I wish I didn't say it. Motherfucker. <coughs> do I have Are to we... roll? I get, I I get a wish one. Do I have one. to roll when some... Because layer action is always 20 in the initiative month. So does it go before the... You can decide, decide the end. Um, the normal rules is that uh, it loses all ties now. So I'll put it below me. So layer oh, okay. action. Go. Fuck, I almost forgot. Jesus, I hate this. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I mentioned I noticed that then. <laughs> Did no one take damage last time? Nope. Wow. Yeah. Let me see if <laughs> okay, so nine. First yeah, girl boss, you know. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Fira, you rolled, you, you rolled these rolls. And here's the thing. When you fire your Eldritch Blast at Golgotha, all uh, all three beams hit him square in the chest. However, before it could, it, it was reaching to his chest, but you see a personal hum, uh, humanoid shape force field like cover Golgotha and protect him from those Eldritch Blasts, dissipating the energy. And I would like all of you to do, uh, who has the highest passive perception here? Biggest oh, PP. I think that's Bunny. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Bunny's PP oh, no, is wait. 23. Wait, I have 22, so... <laughs> that's ah, funny. okay. There you go. That's uh, Bunny's someone... PP is biggest. Okay. Stop it! Stop it! 
Uh, when uh, when that happens, when the force field uh, is there, Dusk Bunny, your rabbit ears hear like a ringing sound coming from the force statues, and you see this like very tiny currents of energy. These four currents of energy just converging on Golgotha, and it seems to be like uh, connected to the force fields um. around them. So yeah. Guys, mm. I sh- uh, 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 does 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 Bunny have enough time to tell the party? Yeah, sure. Guys, kill statues. Uh, they help. They they help bad guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do I kill statues? <laughs> Destroy, crush their stone. Not too hard. And then and then Gogotha says. Ah, oh, then I guess we'll see who kills who first. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so Homer, now it's your time to shine. Oh, okay, that's the end of Fira's turn. Yeah. Well, poop. Okay. We have to destroy the stones, eh? I'm concentrating in large on our girl. You can lose it if you want. Question is, do I want to? <laughs> hey God. Okay, hold on. Now my my mission is to debuff this dude, so I'll focus on that. Oh, so, see here. Vendetta go small. Vendetta go small. What you gonna do? Okay, I think I'll start off with a wall of stone. Wall of stone. Yeah, try to make him unable to get out of his position right now and buy us some time for the statues. So let me bring up the spell real quick. Spell wall of stone. W A L L space O. One twenty feet. That should do. That's enough range. Okay, so with Wall of Stone, um, material component is going to be my staff as well. Then pointing it in his direction. Uh, Raf, question: Are we on Skullduggery Island, or no? This is Heaven Sphere, the I know. Heaven Sphere is a completely different domain. You're in a different plane of existence, and Skullduggery Island is in here too, sucked into the Feywild, basically. I see. Well, okay, I'll have to change my incantation a bit. So I will say, the stones of heaven's fear will heed my call. As I cast wall of stone. All right. And then basically how I'm going to layer it is just like five stones um, completely surrounding him. How big are they? <laughs> 10 foot by 10 foot panels. Ah, okay, six inches thick. Okay, so... It's just going to continue overlapping on his space there. So let me put the drawings. Nice. You've turned his throne into a crib. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's giving architecture indeed, Buns. He's, uh, Homer's secret passion is he's an architecture. It's, it's still them. open at the top. Uh, no, it's also like uh, on the top, so ah, it's completely in It's a box. Him. Okay. Yeah. Mm, it's a box. Cool. Okay, so... what's, in the box? <laughs> what's... what's in the box? At this point, Golgotha is Schrodinger's Golgotha. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. All right, so that's how many panels? One, two, three, four, one on top, five. I guess for the remaining, it will just be another layer. So. Yes. Uh, six. On the top, seven, wow. eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so two layers of that. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. That's really thick, actually. Twelve inches of stone. Just like... Thick. <laughs> yeah, very thick indeed. Good All shit. Right. Thick. thick with double Cs. <laughs> thick so with three that C's was my key. action. <laughs> and then, yeah, okay. Thankfully, Vendetta uh, reduced her size there. Put a concentration marker on this Okay, that was my action. And then I don't have a bonus action I can do, so... Um, 
Feather is going to take a hide action behind one of the statues. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5. Yeah, and then hides there. Here we go. So, R, D20, plus 3 for stealth. Oh, nope, he's not hidden. Somehow, behind the stone, Golgotha knows where my feather is. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Oh you also see the statue's eyes just moving towards feather. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> okay. Well, that's feather's turn and my turn. Uh, oh, no, wait. I can move. Where should I move? No, I'm feeling safest in the center for some reason. That's probably not a good idea, but I'll do it anyways. End of turn. Okay. So, Mr. Golgotha shall be taking a legendary action. Oh. Aw, split. And it was a nice try, like, sealing him in the chair. That was a good turn. However, uh, you see, um, oh, let me look at my notes. I need to see my, um... My winning combinations, you know. <laughs> My winning combinations. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, you see, like a huge lump in your arm start to grow, uh, Homer. And then you can feel, you don't feel any pain or anything weird, but reality is, seems to be like not working on your personal area now. And all of a sudden you see Golgotha's arm popping out of the lump and you see his white um arm you see his uh, white clothes suddenly like popping out of your body and all of a sudden you know how um it's do like a uh, transport via plants golgotha is doing like a sick version of transport via creatures and he pops out of you and now he's outside of the box and with you guys together <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Homer was too stunned to speak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and then Golgotha tells me, you can't lock me away when you are there outside. So yeah. There we go. Good legendary action thing. Hello. Yep. I have um, a yellow squares by accident. Oh, where? Oh, we'll remove that. Yeah, we'll remove that. All okay. right. I want to do. Um, scroll down. But right now, uh, what's happening right now is the lair action activates. So. Oh shit. Let's get ready, my dear contestants. I want you all to. Please do a uh, constitution save of 18, please. Oh, DC 18. Okay, here we go. Oh, and awesome. for Vendetta and for Draven, I want to do it with advantage because a poisonous rain starts happening inside the, the throne room. What the shit? Yeah. Oh, I bounced. Yes. I need 18, right? Yeah, 18. I would like to and... consume one wishbone. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Koya Boom, yes. With the passive perception, yeah, you do notice. Thus, Bunny informed everyone, said. I will use two wishbones. Oh, crap. I wait, no, no three. three. Yeah. Thanks. Qu quick maths. Quick math. Quick math. Do you think we can unlock all our wishbones for Chandafira? There's a <laughs> party. Let's do that. <laughs> no, your part, the remaining party wishbone is not enough, Sud. Okay. So, Chandafira, oh. you ang the winner of the Poison Tower Contest. Congratulations, Dam. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, <laughs> you are now covered in toxins. <laughs> my speech, my speech is so <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trandafira, you now get. Gisao man sa tanan niyang kamot gan. <laughs> two points. Oh, no, sorry, four points of poison damage lang. Oh, 
Or... Chicken. Shouldn't, shouldn't have eaten the chicken. Uh, <laughs> and uh, for the rest of you, you have it. For those who succeed. And then for those who are resistant to poison, half it even more. So one, so one damage. So one damage? Yeah. Basically. Okay, oh, no, four divided by two is two man. Yeah. And then two divided bitaw. by two again is is one. One. Okay, oh, do haka one, bitaw, okay, bitaw. two man, right? Oh, good. Anak na na siya, guys. Inanaon na na pag inanaon na na pag mathematics. Ay mo o. May matama ng computer tama. Okay. Oh shit. Sure. Damage to you, bro. Sige lang guys, four damage na na. He's just. <laughs> Wait, I take one damage. What happened? Nah, nah, TJ. He rolled this well. You take two damage, Carlo. Okay, I I, I heard one. Is that I won. You get uh no, it's for those who are resistant to poison, which is Vendetta and Raven. So damn, if only I had poison resistance, I would have saved myself one health. <laughs> Injustice. This is oh shit, Golgotha's racist. Yeah, I was gonna say oh that he's god. racist. Oh my god. I know, right? Apart from being oh my god. Uh, murderer. A- apart man, from so being racist. homophobic, Golgotha yeah. is also racist. Shit, yeah. Man, just because I'm a straight white male with a child. Oh I my know. god. Hi, nako. Yeah, haven't white men been oppressed enough? You know. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> okay. So, just uh, <laughs> Golgotha, you beat him for cancellation via Twitter. So that's what happened. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, next is DJ, uh, DJ Stern. So DJ, what are you gonna do? Uh, that's wrong. Uh, you you already realized that um based on what Trend of Fear did, maybe stabbing him will not work. Probably. <laughs> hmm. Uh, do I attack him or? <laughs> and and thus Bunny did shout that the damaging the statues might be a thing. Uh, can I use enlarge? <gasps> yeah, you can cast enlarge on yourself. Yeah, that'll be an action. He does have enlarge because I told him to take. It. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'll enlarge lang. Okay, I do not. I'll further observe more, and then then I'll figure out how I attack. So you go. So he's now enlarged. So he's ten feet. Shit, they're ten feet. Sorry. There we go. What happened? Huh? Why is he small? I'm just small again. Let me. There. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we have two mummies. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I will move away. Okay, I'll I have to teach. Huh? Here. Technically, teach is twenty, but you know still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. Uh, is this is that the end of your turn? What is? Uh, what, do you have a bonus action you want to try? Mm, no, nah, I'll just stay here. Okay, go. Okay. Now that's the end of Tej's turn, Golgotha will do yet another uh, leg act. Leg action. He's going to. Hmm. I'm damning choices, actually. It's so. OMG. What do you do? <laughs> uh. Yeah, he's gonna shoot at Vendetta Homer. Uh, trying to fear uh, and Draven, but uh, but uh, you know, sharing is caring. So, let's see what happens. I will roll in my semi-secret server. Okay. 
Excuse me, guys. Let's see. This is for Vendetta. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> this is for Omer. What the fuck was that? He really just Reaper died, died, died the, uh... Oh, I'm seeing that roll. Oof. This is for Trandafira. This is so bad. And this is for Draven. Death Blossom, yeah. I'm glad for <gasps> that reference. Okay. All right. So Vendetta, you are getting a surprise. <laughs> oh no. Damn. Oh. Dang, son. Well, Golgotha unleashes like a beam of orange and purple energy at uh at the four of you. Vendetta, you get struck and you have thirty-one points of psychic damage. Okay. Question. Uh huh. If that damage were to say for example deflected on something else will it like especially for the statues will it damage the statues if it's psychic damage i'll say yeah then do i'll do that i have a cloud rune <gasps> so uh. Reaction, cloud rune. I don't, maybe this is from my rune knight, I think. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you, you like the damage. Mm, when you or a creature, uh, whatever, is hit by an attack roll, you can use a reaction to choose a different creature other than in the attacker within 30 feet of you to become the target of the attack using Ooh. the same roll. Oh my god. Not today, bitch. I like that actually. That's not cool. Today. You know why not sure? You deflect the Eldritch Ray that he sent at you. Yeah, yeah. to this red statue, please. Nice. It's not oh, bad. I like 31. that. Shit. Yeah. It'll the statue will take the 31. So you go. I like that. I like that. That's cool. That's uh, very out of the box. And nice. Hey. Why not? Sure. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, he he blasts an eldritch ray at you, and you use your glaive to kind of like do like a deflect thingy. Yeah. Like, it magically yeah. just deflected like a prism with a light beam. You know? Yeah. You. Yes. What happened? And then meanwhile, for the rest of the contestants, Homer, you get ten points of psychic damage, and. Trying to fear, you get nine points of psychic damage, and Draven, you get sixteen points of psychic damage. Um, I'd like to ask: Is this an attack? Is this uh, no saving throw for this, right? No, no, no. This is an attack roll. Okay. Um, an attack against me has to be done with disadvantage. I have cloak of displacement. Displacement. That's that. I. I. I yeah, but. Golgotha has something that gives him advantage to all of them. Ah, so it's a uh, flat roll. Flat. Oh, okay. okay, so doubly it's flat roll. Okay, yeah. uh, reaction uh, absorb elements. Ooh! Absorb elements. That's so, only for energy damage, no? Spell. Uh, any element, I think? Yeah, but no. this is psychic damage. Uh, yeah, well, I love psychic. Oh. Called fire, lightning, or thunder. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixteen, right? Yeah, sixteen. Nine for Fira. Yeah, nine for Trend of Fira. Okay, nine. okay. Uh, that's thirteen damage though. Or after all, uh, concentration. Yeah. S con for concentration. Uh huh, 22. Oh wow. This doesn't normally happen. I usually lose concentration immediately. <laughs> this is a surprise for me, too. Okay, guys. So, here's a taste of the surprise. There you go. So, that's the end of his leg act. Next is Dusk Bunny. What do you do? Dusk Bunny. Is gonna move over 
uh, here join the fray join the party over there yeah. uh, and he's gonna point a gun at Gol- Gotha and be like so Adam <laughs> oh. where is Eve Golgotha <laughs> is shocked when you call him by his first name. Ooh. Yeah, uh, we met your, we met your, we met your ex, but I'll tell you, we can tell you that another day. And then he just shoots the the knight behind him. <clears throat> shoots the knight behind. Oh, the green one? The green one, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, what are what's the mechanics of this? We just uh, flat you roll. You attack the statue as if it's uh as if it's a creature, yeah, and it's a flat roll. Unless you have uh advantages for stuff. Ah, th- okay. Hmm. 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 Oh, but if you want to do insightful fighting on a statue, that's not gonna work because it's a statue. I was gonna say that. I was gonna yeah. do insightful fighting go. and they just auto fail because they cannot deceive me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Fortnite has insightful fighting when you're collecting mats. It has weaknesses. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Damn. shit. clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna do generic Imperator shit then Imperator strikes. Have you guys been attacking? Oh, you guys have. Okay, so Dust Bunny's gonna aim at the 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 green statue, and then with his sauce or the oh, fuck, what's the name of this thing again? What did I name it? I name it, it. Spectral. Yeah, we ha- the synthetic scope of spectral sight, yeah, or right or what he calls the sh- the <laughs> sauce. Yeah. Uh, he sees in his corner that this one's already pre-damaged, and he's gonna s- attack the, str- the the cracks on the red one instead. Uh, <laughs> you know you're doing something right when the DM, you know, like, ah, like that, Gr- grunts <laughs> like that. Uh, shit, do I sharpshooter this? Let's see, what's that? Do we know the AC? You don't know yet. We do. We've never done an attack on it yet. That 31 oh. was from the reaction of Vendetta. Oh shit. Okay, I'll sharpshooter this first one then. Just to see. Yeah, just, just to see. see. Uh, A. Imper- fuck. Imperator dash B. Minus 5. Dash D. 10. No advantage. No anything. Boom. 15 to hit. That does not hit the statue. You try to aim at some that... of the parts of the statue's what the energy fuck? and that doesn't hit make... the wrong stuff. Okay, that makes sense, but okay. They're so... big as hell. <laughs> 15 misses. Okay, uh, extra attack. You go. F- what the fucking hell? Wow. Okay. Two, two. Uh, Imperator speed feature. 26 to hit, bitch. Okay, that'll hit. <laughs> that'll if hit. someone hasn't shit. been hitting the range. 15. <laughs> Only practiced on like moving targets, <laughs> not static ones. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pick short standing targets. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, well, shit. Uh, we still have one. Um, um, the. What was that? Dread oh, ambusher. Dread Ambusher, because they haven't taken a turn yet, really? That's so ridiculous, but sure. Is that is that part, DM? Sure, sure, let's go. Sure, Sigi, I'll do it. Uh, I still don't know what the AC is, but higher than 15. I'll do a regular one. 30 to hit? <laughs> I don't, we don't know the AC. <laughs> Uh, yeah. 25 total damage. No. Uh. One I, uh... D8. All right. All right. Okay. R one D eight. For sure. Oh, four. four. Okay. A clean sixty. 
There you go. So just push, 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 and only the third one hit, and then does Bunny's ears like point down as if like an ashamed animal, right? And it's like, ah, uh, it's 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 the bright lights in here. It's like you know, and then I'm wearing the sauce, and and then yeah, intern. Nice. Okay, okay. It's so stupid. Turn, and next is Circus turn. What do you so, do? Because I fear for my life, so yeah, I'm very intimidated with the horse statues. I will charge my ghost statue. Nice. Yeah. So from now on, for as long as I'm charged, I will. Uh, I am immune to. I mean, I mean, I am resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. And then I go my restrain and grapple. So I am, in fact, a ghost. Ghost. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Ghost tattoo activated. Yeah. Okay. Keep <laughs> note of those buffs said, uh, whoever does the, the SNS buff. Yeah, please. I'm already tracking damage. Yeah. Uh, Wait, place that lang, uh... I'm uh, uh, Thank you. No, and... I'm buff. There we go. Next... Will be... Oh, is that your turn? Like, act, just using your action to act? What about your bonus action? I can still move, no? Yeah. Is Dolgoth, is he just, like, on the ground? Or is he flying? He's on the ground. I want to stab him. Uh, yeah, it won't works. work. It, it, it won't it, work, yeah. It, we've established that. you can't be... There's like a force field. He, yeah, he has, he has force field. Attack yeah, the we'll statues. Attack the statues first. <clears throat> See, I'm closest to the white one, so... I'm just gonna head over there. And then... Imagine <coughs> stabbing uh, somebody like an ivory statue with a knife. Go yeah. <laughs> just, just but uh, yeah, but your dagger is magic when said, so okay. it doesn't have to make sense. Therefore, I will flash it with my Lex Talionis blade. Does a critical? Critical! Oh, okay. That's a to hit. <laughs> Unfortunately, you cannot add sneak attack. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. It's right. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for me. All right. Good turn, good turn. Okay. Next is Draven's turn. Oh, here comes the pain, gang. Okay, so I'll move it since it's already damaged. Uh, yeah, I'll move it there. And then I'll move myself here. And I will attack the red statue. Okay, let me see. No. <laughs> 28 to hit. 40 damage. Whoa. Whoa, Let's fucking go. Hit, that hits. 100 so far. That's still okay. I'll hit it more. <laughs> that statue crumbles. Nice. Yes, right. And Good job, so, everyone. what I'll do is bonus action switch. And With the shadow nice. here now. And that's, that's so there. Cool. That's so cool. This one. Down. Switch. 20 to hit. 20 hits. Alright. 43 damage. Ridiculous. Oof. What the fuck, man? 23. 23 to hit. 23 hits. 37 <laughs> damage. Okay. 80 so far. <laughs> okay. Uh, last attack. Uh, you have advantage bad. because of reckless, no? Yeah. That's ridiculous. So okay. that doesn't hit. I, I think. This one does Do you not. want to use wishbones for that? Might be worth it. It's up to you guys if you... <laughs> I'll tell you this now, your party wishbones not enough. Uh, uh, what? Understood. More than 20 AC? 
What okay. kind of statues or what, what the fuck? What kind of? My god. It's okay, okay, gang. So 96 damage to this one so far. 80 plus 16. Guys, this is an expensive Lysho statue. Okay, yeah, so, so that yeah, needs yeah. to like hit it. So it was... Yeah. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Nice. Yeah, now it's Vendetta's turn. I will move here. Oh, you got your reaction back. Okay. Yay. All right. Um, How does grapple work? I just wanted to ask. Grapple. Oh. You, yeah, it's, a con it's a contest of strength versus... I mean, athletics yeah, versus... versus Athletics or acrobatics by the opponent. Right, the, uh, and then the statues don't have athletics, no? So if I yeah. just you, slam my huge ass towards that dude, no? You, no, grapple just it, just it makes their speed to zero. To zero but uh, you don't you don't have to do that anymore. Attack then. You don't have to do that anymore because they're not moving. Yeah, right. they're statues. Their speed is you already might want zero. I to grapple Golgotha at some point though, but not now. Okay. So come first. Attack. Attack. Oh shit, that hits. Does that hit? Oh, 21? Hold on, hold on, the first one might destroy it. I think that's the first now. one kills it already. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you have any, like, any movement left, you can... Either go, okay. go to the 21, the 21 will be to the gray horse. The gray horse. Okay, go roll down. The damage is 12. Okay. So 21 hits? Yeah. 21 okay. hits. Ooh, 21 Ooh. is the secret sauce. Ooh. One of secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, bonus action. I have pa. Okay, nine. So nine, plus nine. That'll be 21. Okay. There we go. We're 20% of the way there. <laughs> uh, end of your turn? Yes, sorry. Okay. Next up is Vigil. It's my turn. I will, since okay. Golgotha can't be attacked, I will use Panache. So, uh, uh, I think Golgotha's gonna do a leg act. No, no, no. He he used to go up this turn, so. Hey, okay. So next is Vigil's turn, so go, go, go. Yes, Panache. <laughs> nice. So now that you use Panache, what, do I have to roll something? Yes, as an action, you can make a persuasion check contested by insight check. Uh, oh. All right. Versus Golgotha, no? Oh, an insight check against Golgotha? Dang. That's brave. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, but you can do it. You know, we'll see. Maybe I'll fail. You don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll fail. I, I might no. fail. How's you have reliable yeah. talent, so that's helpful. I know, like between uh, ancient. Then, it's uh, okay, we can move to the next turn. <laughs> <laughs> I have ten. Seriously, you, you'll take it back or what? No, <laughs> ten right. I have ten. You have ten. Wait, I might roll low. We really. That's true. Yeah, let's hey, go. Why does it say plus four on your thing, dude? Is that supposed to be plus four only? Yeah, persuasion is plus four, I think. Uh... My charisma is plus three. But the reliable talent will make that ten. Ah, so that's ten plus is... four. So it's fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Oh, it's fourteen. Damn. Is it? I think no, the I dice... think reliable talent just turns it into ten. No, no, no. The dice no, roll. No, it turns the roll into yeah. a ten. So yeah. the dice plus four roll. makes it fourteen. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Here you go. So, um, what did Golgotha roll, dude? Let's see. This is a saving throw, right? It's a inside versus Yeah, inside It's a contest, versus. okay. Yeah. Fuck, he passes. 
Oh no. <clears throat> By a lot? Oh, so, okay. By a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. What, what, did he, what did he roll if I mean? Uh, is, this not, is this not a lot? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hold on, you rolled 14, right? Yeah. 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 <gasps> no, I failed. Fuck, I failed, I failed. Nice. Yeah. So what this means, the creature has disadvantage in attack rolls against other targets except me, and Ooh. cannot make opportunity targets against other targets. Yes, uh, very tank. I love it. It ends, love that. it ends when allies engage it, so you guys shouldn't uh, engage it. Let's focus I mean, on the statues. He's invincible yeah. right now. Yeah, exactly why I used it. Yeah. Right? And I'm yeah. safe up to 60 meters, so... <laughs> Nice, nice, nice turn. Nice. nice. What about uh, your bonus action? Bonus action. Um, if I hide, does it cancel it? No, I don't think so. What does Panache say, bro? Does it say it will it be It doesn't gone? say anything about hiding, yeah. Okay, then no, yeah, you can hide. Nice, I'll hide. Yeah. No, it'll just cry. You Wait. can you can run but you can't hide. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. One, two. Go. Okay. Uh roll a stealth check for me, please. This guy this guy is uh a lot. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh you're good, you're good. You're All right. Good. I am hidden. Behind the oh, mummies. Okay. <laughs> Protect me. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it with the mummies. Jail. <laughs> Jail. Okay. Jail. So uh, the next person is Gotham himself, right? As this this list is long. Oh, it's him. It's time oh, for him to time. Okay, time. He gets his three ledge actions back. So guys, I'm gonna look through my shit stuff because take your time. I know how big that stuff. Why did you? Do you have something weird finish. to eat today? <laughs> sure, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, I mean... Oh... Wait, how long is one minute? 60 uh, seconds. It's gonna rounds. be our whole fight, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, <laughs> as long as you don't fight him, he's not weak. He's gonna have a disadvantage in attack rolls. Okay, guys, this is pretty... Pretty spicy. Spicy. Mm. So, there is going to be 10 foot cubes of roaring fire erupting around the place. And Bullshit. some of you have chances of winning for sure. Wait, one, two, well, three. Uh, this is Firestorm. Four, Here. five, six, seven. Yeah, no, everyone got on fire here. So, guys. You see columns of flame erupt in the ground that you're standing on. Each and every one of you get hit by a column of flame. And I want all of you to please do a dex saving throw. Hooray. I may as well use my reaction to cast absorb elements now. Dex, dex saving throw. I have advantage in that, so... Uh... Barbarian, no? Yeah. Five. Nope, I failed, you. but I will cast Absorb Elements. 14! Oh, 24?! Wow. Does evasion make me... no damage? Is that what happens? Yes. Perfecto mundo. And then for the rogues that have failed, AA, Trandafira, Sorka. Wait, wala pa ko ka roll. Um, is yeah. that a spell? Yeah, it's a spell. So you have advantage, have advantage. actually. Yeah. Oh shit, you have advantage also, Draven. Yeah. Yeah, already rolled with advantage. But yeah. Buddy. Unfortunately. No. What about you, DJ? Did you roll? His Discord chat crashed well. Oh shit. Okay. So 14 doesn't save. I think I'll use Absorb Elements this time. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, let's both do that. <laughs> what about you, Homer? You didn't roll. Oh, you failed. Okay. I failed, bro. I failed hard. Shit. <laughs> nice. Okay, so... Uh, Vigil saves. Does Bunny saves. 
the rest fails. Oh wow. Vendetta I saves. Do? Vendetta saves. Vendetta saves. Vendetta saves. Vendetta saves still. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we'll have fire. Marlith fire. fire. <laughs> yeah, but Vigil and Dust Bunny, since they're rogue and they have evasion, they they take no damage. Uh, the other rogues only take half damage, even if they fail because of evasion. Uh, for Vendetta, you'll take half damage of this, and the rest will take full. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it's spicy and it should be shared. Mm. <laughs> Half damage <laughs> of Faster. of two. Guys, um, please okay. put in chat how much damage each of you took. So yeah. yeah, I don't know who passed and who failed. Yeah. So. Okay, so the total damage is thirty-four. So whoever fails and is not a rogue will take thirty-four. Okay. What's okay. half of that? 17. Half of that is seventeen. Okay, I'll take seventeen. Yeah, we did absorb elements. So yes. Alright, 17 plus 12 damage so far from 29. You all actually didn't take full damage because you're either rogue. So annoying, actually. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, us do deck saves, dude. Yeah. Thank you for that advice. I will. Well, no, why would you say that, Link? <laughs> I'll try harder next time. <laughs> uh, okay. Can someone tell me and be honest with me, is your HP below 100? No. no. In my case, I'm still my a little HP bit is, above. My HP is below 100. I see, okay. Good hey, Karun with the damage? Yeah. Yeah. I see, okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What was that jiggle? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> said she. <laughs> no, oh, I just that was like you didn't hear anything. It's fine. <laughs> Rafi. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's top of the round now, and it's trying to fear us turn. This is my concentration check. The con save I'm making. Okay, I still have wall of stone. Not doing anything, but there it is. Yeah, tall, how tall is the statue? It's like, I'll say 15 feet tall. But it has this energy that's been coursing around the statue ever since the force field of Golgotha is activated. So what you guys are basically doing is your Lex Leone magic, interrupting the the conductor the statue acts as an arcane conductor for the magic to you know maintain the force field lord lang lord lang bonus action throw a psychic fan above the statue it's going to mount it kaya i reach 98 kaya I can, wow nice nice I'm gonna swing on the chandelier. Basically, yeah. <laughs> See, that um, roll, roll. Uh -huh. Allies are next to the statue, no? So he'll get sneak attack. Allies are next to the statue. The gray statue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Let right. go. Oh, he'll use the Lex Talionis. Okay, go. Lex Tal. I think you need to use a wishbone for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Update accordingly. Yeah. One wishbone. Okay. 13 damage. Fuck. Uh, 1 plus 13. And then, oh no, that's really far away, dude. 17 hit. Very sturdy. Very sturdy indeed. I'll stay up here. Okay, two attacks. And then, yeah, I guess that's it. So 21 plus 30 damage so far to the statue. Whoa. See you go. All right. Uh, and that's your turn. Okay. Okay. 
Next is legendary action. Oh no. Oh, yeah, he asked those again. Right. Oh. He is going to share the blessings again. Hold on, let me see what what blessings will he share today. <laughs> Okay. Remember that he's Panastraf, huh? Oh yeah. So he can he he has disadvantage on attack, right? Like just attack in general. Attack against to everyone other than vigil. At attack rolls. Let me mm. let me double check. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Oh. Uh. Because yeah, because I have other things besides attack rolls, guys. Uh, okay, yeah, it's just attack rolls. I'm reading it right now here. This disadvantage ah. on attack rolls against targets other than you and can't make opportunity attacks against. I you. see. In that case, you'll see Gotha gather Eldritch energies again in the palm of his hand, and he's gonna throw it at the area where Vendetta, Thieves, and Vigil are standing and trying to. The ball of energies there. Snaps his finger and an eldritch bomb activates. So, within yeah, a 20 foot radius, everyone is hit. I want you all to please make a constitution save. Ah, oh, constitution. Is that yeah. advanced? Is that a spell? It's a feature, so it's not a spell. Oh, okay. Uh... Mm. Okay. What save? Con. Okay. Uh, yeah, can't save. Wait, why am I going to save, Kalav? I want... Who did I? Come no, it's here. just Vendetta, oh my God. PJ, Sorry, I'm, I'm so sleepy. Oh, no. my bad. Okay. I'm very oh. little. Sorry. I heard, I heard, Raf said, I heard, I want you all. So I... Everybody's falling asleep. <laughs> Everyone had a long day yesterday, Siguro, no? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay, today, Jude, 5 a.m. Oh my god, that's so early! Jim Jim, so... Mm. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, 11 saves, Raph, or on Sabah? Did I absorb no. elements and shit? No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Absorb element, this isn't going to work. You got necrotic damage, man. I... Okay, <laughs> kapati. <laughs> Baby, you have a. By the way, you have a new Eldritch invocation, in case you feel like you're in trouble. Okay. Which is it? Was what is that, Kenny? I just check your features on your character sheet. Okay, I'm on. You guys have a uh, no, guys. Um, for those who failed, you get twenty-seven points of necrotic damage, and for six, you only get half, which is fourteen. I think I oh, okay. Yes. DC is 18. I saw it, my love. No, Still two. on damage, Raph? Uh... Raph, I forgot. Uh, 27. 27 ang total. For those okay. 27? Mm, 27. 27. You're fine. Uh, DC is I'm 18, fine. right, Raph? Huh? DC is 18? No, DC is not 18. Oh. How high is it? It's, it's a threat. Okay, so uh -huh. basically everyone failed. Um, everyone took 27 then, right? Yeah. Also, um, Sorka, you're not included in this, huh? It's just yeah. a It's yeah, vigil. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, was, yeah. that was a fluke. Sorry. Okay. okay, yeah. All right. There we go. Wait, this, this... Uh -huh. Um, 12 still fail? Because I have... 12, 12 definitely fails, yes. Okay. Okay. Does the statue uh, get damaged also? Because it's a no. bomb. No. <laughs> Just milking everything. Yeah, this man. Is a, yeah, this is a selective bomb. Yeah. Uh, okay. Choose C. Choose C. <laughs> okay, right. next, Spicy Homer. Okay, that was his ledge action. Uh, people are starting to get damaged, so it's time to heal up a little bit. One who took the most damage is Vendetta. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna do what Homer will do 
and he's going to be healing up Vendetta. So, gonna be using Balm of the Shining Cabal. And because that's a lot of hit points missing, I'm actually going to use 8d6s. Oh, shit. Hey. 8d6. Sira is also heavily damaged, huh? Yeah, but I can only target one per turn. Ah, uh, so okay. 33 healed. That's gonna All be... Alright. Thanks. Uh, 45. This... 12. We're back to just 12 damage. Nice. Thanks. And you get 8 temporary hit points as well. Hey. Alrighty. That's the bonus action. Uh... That's my main action. <laughs> Gosh. This guy, man. Asshole. <laughs> Used a lot of my big shit already. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be using... Hold on. He cannot attack of opportunity me because of panache so i'm gonna get out of here yes Five, and 15 25 30. wow it was mirror image um notice this i think it's pharaohs i think so yeah yeah How far am i from the statue five five -ish. Have any like big spells I can use against freaking stone? It's so ridiculous to fight stone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Golgotha is kind of being handled by Panache right now, so. Okay, I have to deal damage right now rather than buff and buff allies, so I'm gonna cast Moonbeam now. I have to reveal that, unfortunately. So, cast Moonbeam as I do that. There's a material component for that. So, using the staff of the woodland beings again, I put my staff up and then hit it down to the floor as I say, Lunar beams rain down upon you. <sighs> so, I hit my staff down and then cast Moonbeam. So, let's do that. Cast I should well, probably roleplay my stuff as well. <laughs> Hold on. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, when a creature enters this. Ah, uh, hmm. Hello. How does this yeah, work? It's a creature. What? When a creature enters the spells area. Are we considering this a creature or an object? Yeah, it's. it's it, it, the, the energy surrounding it, yeah, we'll consider it a creature. So I will. You know what? Wait. Just roll the damage, actually. It uh, takes damage automatically. Oh, okay. Uh, first time I turn the constitution saving throw. Okay, so it won't make a con save. So... And also, I forgot about Bunz's mirror image shit. This is so... fuck. <laughs> it's okay. I yeah. think he forgot to. 2d10. Okay. He will take... Uh, 13 Radiant Damage. That's not terrible. And mm -hmm. then I will also... No, wait, that was an action, wasn't it? Okay, action to do that. Bonus action to heal Vendetta. And I think that's it for Homer's turn. For Owly. He's really far. How much damage to the statue? 13 Radiant. Okay. That's on the green one, right? Oh uh, no, that's on the black one. I'm focus firing. Oh, okay. So I'll edit this uh, 34 to thir plus 13. 37. Oh, okay. All right, so it's almost at half life. And then I'll feather. Let's see, how far are you from this thing? 34. So 50 brings him here. And it's going to <laughs> go help action. <laughs> um, give the help action to 
Peach against this thing so that he has advantage and then last 10 feet of movement. That's okay. the end of Homer's turn. Alright. Next is uh the lair action will activate again. So this time you around Around the space you guys inhabit, like wrinkly, fleshy hands just erupt from the floor and start to like hold on to you guys and hold you down. I want you all to do a uh, roll a strength save DC or be restrained for one round. Is, uh, is this a magic hand or? It's a uh, it's a magical hand, yeah. Okay. And for for those who have advantage against spells, th this is a feat. But I've been rolling like once, like they, you know, yeah. What are we making? A uh, strength save. Strength save. Strength save, please. Strength. <laughs> oh no. I think twenty six saves. So Nine. I think I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. Hello. I will die. This is also a good Wait, wait. Uh, Vendetta has freedom of movement, and I do too, so... Can't be restrained. Damn! Okay, you're not restrained. Whoa. Very... Very handy, huh? Very handy. Okay, so... Turn of Fear fails. Homer fails. Sort of fails. Each fails. Is this also? Uh, what did you do, Vigil? You all you got uh two, right? Oh yeah, you got two. You yeah. got twelve. Okay, you fa you failed. Uh, what about Mika and Wayne? Guys, are you still awake, dude? Wayne, wake up! <laughs> oh no! Oh shit, you might have to follow. Is he asleep for real? What happened? Uh, do a. Oh. You have to do a strength save. That's when he has to do a strength <coughs> save. Okay. <clears throat> it's, uh, old people hands erupted from the ground and tried 11. to. 11. Oh man, restrained. They're all restrained. All except for Draven and Vendetta. So, everybody but Vendetta and Draven are restrained one round so that's the situation right now but uh you can still break away from this do a strength save you need to be the dc line of, uh, of 20. <laughs> so yeah that's the thing so so yeah that's uh, the end of the layer action dj it's your turn now do you do um, I'm sorry, who got restrained? Everyone but Vendetta and Draven. Okay. Then did that restrained. I'm restrained. restrained. Yeah. Um. When I'm restrained, what does that mean? When you're restrained, your movement is zero, <coughs> so you can. Oh. And then. The other thing is, when you're restrained, let me look at the thing. <clears throat> attack rolls against the creature have advantage. The creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and dexterity saves. There, that's the one. Thank you. Mm, I cannot reach the statue, right? Yeah, you have but a crossbow. You, you have a crossbow to shoot at the okay. statue. <laughs> I'll use my crossbow. Okay, there we go. I have disadvantage, uh, right? You have. I bet you did not no? equip it. I did not. Have... Ah. You don't have a no. You don't have a uh, disadvantage on this. This is. Yeah, it's a statue. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um. I I bet you did not update. Your update. Okay, update for day. Uh, um. Do update. Yeah, do update. There we go, okay. and then okay. like. Can do a crossbow. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay, okay, that's it. Yeah, and then this one has a plus. This is a plus one card. to seven. So, yeah. All right. That's seven damage. Dili siya ka sneak. No. Oh yeah, you can actually get that. Oh yeah. Like trying to. Oh, and some uh, and someone else is on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think, guys, you can't sneak attack if the attacker has disadvantage. Yeah. But he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have disadvantage. Ah, no, man. Okay, that's good. Restrained, man, siya, diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's restrained. Uh, is he getting advantage from anything? Yeah, para ma flat roll. Uh, no, he, he doesn't have advantage, he just has sneak attack because the allies are near the statue. You you cannot know, have sneak attack the if there's disadvantage. If you have disadvantage. Oh. Uh, that's one of the conditions of sneak attack. Yeah. Oh. Okay, sad. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That works for me, sad. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> that works for me, sad. <laughs> So, <coughs> that's 9 damage, if I remember correctly, wait. I know it's 7 damage, guys, so 47 plus 7, that's 54, I'm updating. 54. Okay. And then, since it's the end of your turn, Deej, you can try and roll again, break away from this, uh, from the hands, from these fleshy okay. hands. Um, what do I... Strength. Uh, Save. Oh. Exclamation mark S and then strength. Okay. Oh no. Mm. Use two. You can okay. use two. <coughs> mm. Okay, yeah. Alright. You break away now and uh, you can still move and have a Bonus. Oh wait, no, no wait. This is the end of your turn, man. Good, cause yeah. yeah. So yeah, this. Yeah. Is, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next is Dust Bunny's turn. What are you gonna do? Dust Go. Bunny will attack the gray one with disadvantage. Okay. Imperator, this. Kill it. Kill it. First Kill attack. It. Go. Nope. Second yeah. attack. Nope. Nope. Uh, bon uh speed no. speed bonus feature thing. Twenty to hit. And I will use eight. one wish yes. bone. Yes, okay. yes. So that's thirteen damage. I cannot sneak attack. Okay. This puts it though sixty-seven. Statue. Sixty-seven. Close right. to destroying it. Uh, is that uh? Is oh. that your whole turn? That uh, I will end my turn and then I will do a strength throw. saving throw again. Okay, go. I Bam. did not. <laughs> I will... Oh my god, this is when lesser restoration will be very helpful. And now, um, Golgotha will do another legendary action. See what can I do? I'm gonna look at this stuff. Uh, this one, this one, this one. Okay. I have my options here. I saw what is this? Okay. Guys, did Bogotha use a second legendary action? He he he's using a second legendary action. So ah, okay. it's happening. He is going to uh point at Vendetta and That's his finger off, Joe. Yeah, lightning's gonna erupt from his hand. And let me see. I'm basically casting chain lightning, so everyone's sharing 
Mars. Can I absorb elements that shit? No. You can, you can. I'll do that. <laughs> and, uh, let's see, three other targets. Uh, yeah, so, uh, what happens is, uh, he's going to use chain lightning, and that lightning will also hit three other people besides Vendetta, and oh, the winner of the contest is Vendetta, Homer, Sorka, and uh, Draven Shadow. Draven Shadow. Yeah. So, uh, Vendetta, you also have advantage on this spell. Ah, so, okay, so no lang mag absorb elements? You can also do that para i-lessen pa jud ang damage. Next way. Yeah. Huh? The rune? Dexterity. A dexterity. Yeah, it's an dexterity space, yeah. Fail, I will cast absorb element. Those who are restrained have disadvantage. Yeah. The tau. Dili lang ko mag... So it explodes. <laughs> There we go. Uh, oh my gosh. So, uh, Vendetta, you still have advantage, but you still have your I don't know, magical resistance. Uh, for Sorka, yeah, you kind of have disadvantage because you're resistant. And, yeah. Errol, for Errol, that's Dex. This. this. Yeah, and for Homer, you also are restrained. So this is with disadvantage. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, so, um, my dude, how much damage was it? Uh, oh my god, okay. <laughs> 50 damage for those who failed and half for those who succeed. Okay, with my Did absorb, absorb, absorb elements, yeah. I'll be 25. You can absorb yeah. elements to half it some more, but yeah. I'll, I'll not use it long. Ah, okay. I'll just save your, yeah, your spell stack. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. This is only for Sorka, Vendetta, Homer, and Draven Shadow. Oh. You are, yeah, relax. It's okay, Laga. <laughs> Everyone share the prize. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, rotation, we, rotation. We, we die together as a team. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, 54, I don't know, yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. So, good news, guys. I burned my legendary actions for the second round, so, yeah. Oh, you're out of it. Yeah. Give you a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> no. Gee, oh. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Okay, next is Sorka's turn. Go, Sorcha. Oh, I'm going to go. 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 Sorka is still restrained? Or... No, she's restrained. Ah. No, she's restrained because yeah, it's magical. Man, hands. Yeah. They're, they're the hands of hags that were being very naughty. Yeah. Very naughty. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let's change my damage today. Hey, what? Okay. How do I break out of magical restraints? After uh, your turn, you yeah, do a strength, a strength save. Yeah. You can try to curl Slash. your... Your your boomerang dagger. You can throw the statue still. I think you can make the range set. Mm. See, I'll throw it to the gray one. Yeah. Okay. Roll for it. This this dagger is uh, the one that your father gave you. A... This is not your Lex Talionis. Just just draw a normal dagger. Just a regular a dagger, though. Yeah, it's a regular dagger, but I'll keep note lang na plus one shot to attack roll and damage, so... Does that hit? Oh, nice. This one hits, and this is a total of nine damage to the statue. Okay. 
that's seven plus nine, that's, uh, this is 76 now, I'm not sure. 76. Nice. And since this is the end of your turn, uh, Sorka, you can roll a strength check to escape from a uh, Try and escape from this thingy. A check? Mm, uh, strength check. Strength check. Save. And it's, it's an S. Hmm. I think her save is the same as hers. No same oh, okay. Dublin. Same, bro. Okay. <laughs> Let's do the first one then. No! Sad I feel I feel both. Okay, you're still you're strained for the rest of the And uh what is this? Um trend of fear? What if I use TP? What's TP? Teleportation. Ah, uh... Can it's a thing you can do, yeah. You can try. I won't stop you. <laughs> okay. Next is Draven's turn. What do you do, Draven? Everyone's. Yeah, I will move here and I will summon my shadow beside the horsey. Melotep. All right, let's do this. Finish. So I do hit thirty-eight damage. Oh, ah, the dead. Probably enough, dude. It's destroyed. <laughs> it's dead. Yeah, dead. Okay, so I will move the shadow here and attack this one. Oh no! <laughs> when is next to hit thirty-eight damage. Yeah, it hits. Thirty-eight. Oh, let's do this. Oh crap! Nineteen to here. Yes. yes. Yeah. I will take two um, wish bones. We may as well use it because we need these things destroyed. Yeah. Go, guys. Let's do it. So, how much is that? 38 plus 41? Um, I'm not so good with. <laughs> 79. 79. Okay. okay, and then fire damage to 79, 81. And I'll just. I'll. Take away the negative five so that I can <coughs> try to make sure that it hits. Uh, it does the damage. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, just to be safe. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. 25 to hit 29. I think that was pretty as well. Yes! Let's go. No! Okay. <laughs> no, Lucky. Oh, thank yes. God. Yeah. Draven, you strike Enerva the Dark Blade into the statue of the and the necrotic energy spreads like a toxin on the statue and crumbles it apart. And for everyone else, you look at Golgotha and you see the force field surrounding him flickering out of existence. Okay, so Draven will move beside him and smile. Haha! Let's go up him, bitch. Oh, wait, 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 not me, the anime shadow. This oh, you're okay, there. Yeah, God, not one, and then, yeah, the shadow will smile and wink. Unleash incarnation! And huh? we'll attack him. Oh, right. shit! <laughs> oh, crap! Okay, that's it. That's two twos. It, it doesn't get... Like, oh. it, okay, I end my turn. Yeah, the oh, shadow tries to strike him with with a copy of the dark blade, but Golgotha catches it bare hand. <laughs> okay, you can uh, have this one. <laughs> <laughs> next, the next contestant is Vendetta. Ah, <laughs> uh, hang on. You're not restrained, huh? Yeah, hang on, Saha. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, for a moment. Um, shall I, I'll just attack, I think? Okay. <coughs> Up. Um, I think yes. Homer would shout out like, "Try to hold him down, girl." Okay, but I have the dagger, huh? I'll grapple him. 
<gasps> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, oh shit. Yeah, okay. If he flies, <laughs> if he flies, it'll be difficult. I have fly also. No, She's not no. the only bitch who can fly. Yeah, but not not everyone can fly. I think I can bring people with me. No. I don't. Oh. <laughs> uh, her highest level, if she can cast fly at level five, she can bring two other people. I believe. Ah. Uh, okay. In any case, I think Grapo it's lang? in our best interest if he can't move at all. Yeah. What um, do I go on with grapple? What do I? You replace you replace one of your attacks with a grapple check. That's athletics versus the the opponent's athletics or acrobatics. Okay. You have advantage because of your giants. Because My you're head. giant. Um, so C space so athletics space ADV. And I have to do a contest too. Oh. Oh snap! Oh snap! What did she roll? What did she roll? Twenty-two. 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 <laughs> okay. Because of the thing I have, I have advantage, like ability checks. So we shall see. I might fail. Fifteen plus. Oh shit! He's grappled. Hey. Got him! <laughs> Got him, guys! And then, um, Let's can I still attack? No. You still, yeah. You have an extra attack, man. And a bonus. My bonus? Yeah. Mm. So, since he's grappled, do I have advantage? Do you? Let me look, let me look at the grapple. Grapple only makes it's just zero. Speed speed zero. zero. Ah, okay. So, what will you attack? With the dagger or with? I. I can try with the dagger. I mean, why not? Yeah. Uh, also, the pole arm is a two weapon, th you know, weapon. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So you can't really. You're not holding your pole arm at the moment, Vendetta, because you're using hands. Unless, like, you're grip. grappling him with your yeah. legs. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I can ride him. Let's go. <laughs> Oh dear. So, what's happening? I would like to grapple him with my legs, like jiu -jitsu. Okay. We, we can do that. Sure, sure, sure. So, dili na ka mag... Okay. Dili ka mag what? Dagger. Mag dagger? Okay. Oh, what okay. do I roll? Roll... Uh, roll, I guess, uh, d20 plus your strength modifier, because that's the highest I believe. Roll D20. Well, I proficiency. Are we all proficient or none of us We're are proficient? proficient with this dagger. Yeah, yeah. So, proficient. baby, it is. Hang on, huh? Can you send me the command, please? Oh, it's, it's uh, exclamation point R D20 plus 10, I believe. No, plus 11, ten. Kamika. I plus. Oh, okay. I plus 10, ready. I kay plus one weapon, mani yung Kamika. Plus 11, man, ako strength. Dili kai your I... weapon is a plus one weapon. Yeah. Ah. Mm. So plus right, ten. Twenty-seven. Oh. Boom. Bitch. Okay. Ah, are you gonna use all your attacks to stab him with the dagger or just this one attack? All the attacks. See him now. Keep rolling. Oh, this uh... you have three attacks? Nice. Bonus action ma. Attack, extra uh -huh. attack, and bonus action. The twenty. Wait, plus... but Lincoln, ang grab taking the grapple action only replaces an attack. No, dili siya bonus action. Just to confirm. Yeah, it only replaces an attack, not the right. bonus action. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Anyways, thirteen to hit. No. <laughs> That's I think terrible. that will miss. Yeah, just Unless, that one then. Know, He's like Action a. Action surge! Woo! Oh. Woo! Good shit. I Good mean, call. why not? <laughs> Do it. 24 to hit. Extra attack. 19 to hit. Oh. Okay. So. Wait, wait, will 19 hit? 19. 
Uh, just hits. Yeah. Nice. Right. Three attacks hit. Right. Okay. Now this dagger, uh, it has the same. the The damage is one d four as an dagger, but because of the properties of the abrogate arbor combined with the tablet of vitro, this has two d twelve points of uh radiant damage basically and here's the thing this dagger is an auto crit on golgotha so it doubles all damage so yeah uh i want you to roll uh three times 2d4 plus 4d12 Roll 2d4 plus what? 2d4 plus 4d12. Four. Mm. D. Hang on, let me send you <coughs> like this one. Yes, yepers. Three times? Three times, yeah. Okay, two one. So you... Nice. Okay. Two times or three times, Ralph? Nice. Two times or three times? Three times, three attacks three. hit, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Nice! 36 plus 34 plus 26! Someone please calculate that. That's uh, 36 plus 34, that's 70. 70. 96. 96 damage! Nice. Got him. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Do I add my plus 4 because I'm big? No. Sure. Oh, that sure makes sense. Not. Yeah. Huh? That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So three th times three gihapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nga D four and D six, right? Wala na labot ang D six gay gikan man to ni. So three D four. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like that. Oops. I rolled. Let me. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> That's her. Her thing is from the rune knight, right? Not from enlarge. Not from enlarge. Oh uh, yeah. So it should be D sixes. You mean? Yeah, it's D six. Yeah. <coughs> Remove it. Sorry. Remove the. Hang on, sir. This is not the thing then. Oh, 3d6. That will hurt. Anyway. It will hurt. R3d6. That somehow became more sluggy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> then, 406. Got it. Okay. Let's go. Six. So. Everyone, you see this, huh? You see Vendetta holding him down and stabbing him three times in the... Like, Golgotha is uh, actively avoiding, so it hits him there instead. And then, uh, Vendetta, you look closely at the dagger and you see some of the blood slowly filling up the name of Adam Calvert. Nice! Ooh, and somewhere nice. across Tyrin and Exoria, Faro Sayed is looking at the tablet of Vitra and you can see the word, the first three letters of Adam Calvary slowly appearing in, in the tablet of Vitra. The first so, yeah. three letters of, her, of his name? Yes, yes. Ada. Ada. The word Ada is appearing and it once. <laughs> there we go. So yeah. So that ends your turn and next is Vigil's turn. Got this, bro. He's not panashed anymore, huh, by the way? And we're all attacking him now, so I don't think you want to do that. But... Do can it. I pass the item? You can, you can. It's a... Uh, object interaction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would like to pass it to... The, the next job. one. The person someone next. Who, yeah, someone who will attack <coughs> next. Hello, next I am Far, done. and I am mistrained. Oh, shit, yeah. you're... Oh, yeah. Right. Wow, just, okay. just throw it in the air and I can like telekinesis that shit. Oh, oh extra fucking lente. Yeah, uh, I'll let that happen, sure. Vendetta, you can throw it and then uh, Vigil, just roll for me. Just roll a flat attack roll. Oh, like a d20. No modifiers. Modifiers. Yeah. Well, oh, fuck. Okay. I'm hitting once this entire session. Huh? <laughs> I know. Good, good, good. Oh, sorry, sorry. That one was good. two. I'll allow it if you use your birthday critical on this. Whoa! Hey, Vito! 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 Do you want to or are you, you saving it? What's you, automa you automatically crit. Birthday critical. Yeah, but it's just one. 
No, no, no. no. Go, go pretend I can ignore this. Mm. No, you, you can, you can declare it after, man. The roll. Can, can, can I use the wishbone to reroll instead? Fine, fine. Like, oh, what? Wait, the, the dagger is still in your token at the control, but you missed because you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The wishbone so, will not be enough, Carlo. To reroll? Can I not reroll the wishbone? Mm, no. No. Yeah, no. Okay, I'll, I'll use the critical then. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So what does that mean? It's it becomes a natural twenty instead. Yes. Nice. So, Are, is he able yeah. to add his sneak attack to this? You know what? Sure. Ha! Nice. Let's fucking go. Hmm? Oh shit! Go. Here we go. Again. Twice. Is that is that how it works? Roll yes. again. Roll again. Yeah. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. And the then. Worst way to sneak. Because it's a because critical. Because the dagger is an auto crit on this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you used your birthday crit. Nice. Okay. Uh, and okay. then, if correct me if I'm wrong, Raph, does he still roll the 2d4 plus 4d12? Yes. So he rolls that twice, right? So yes. it becomes 4d4 plus 8d12. 4d4. Wait, wait, no, no, no. The normal attack of this dagger, is, if it's used on a normal person, this is like, uh, this is like 1d4 plus 2d12. Yeah. But on Golgotha specifically, it's double. Yeah, so, and it it critical pamanjud, so double again. Oh shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. Yes, so, sir. Is this all correct? Yes. That's correct. Like you yes. deal 33 plus 31 is 64. Plus eleven is seventy-five. Plus forty-eight is. Ah! Did I record One twenty-three. One twenty-three. One twenty-three. Good shit, guys. Hey. Yeah. One twenty-three. Plus one hundred six. That's two twenty-nine. Dang. Twenty-nine. You're it's so, there, guys. That's so cool. Like You're Vendetta throws there. the dagger in the air and then. It just suddenly like, like ding, and like points down, yeah. and then whoosh, goes down into, into Golgotha. Yeah, and then next is Golgotha <coughs> Strongbow. Uh oh. Here we go again. No, take it. Over. Take the dagger out of the the thing first. I will pull it up. Okay. <laughs> I will pull it up. Okay, get it going. Okay. I will pull and it up. Then... So it's with me again, Balik? What? No. The, the dagger is it with is with, is with me again or what? Yeah, it's with you. It's with you. It's with you. Okay. You okay. Oh my god, what's your HP? Bring it on, man. It's 93. Kill <laughs> me. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why would you say that? Because I'm an old man. It's my time to die. Let's be. <laughs> because I'm an old man. It's my time to die. <laughs> Let it be. <laughs> also, uh, Vegil, how much is your HP also? 99. 99? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's two options. Okay. <laughs> my contestants, you know. Oh, so... I got, I got one shot. So listen, uh, Golgotha looks at you angrily, Vigil, because of that stunt you pulled with telekinesis. Yeah. And he, Golgotha points at you angrily, and he tells you, "Die." <laughs> Can I counter spell that? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Oh, you can't. You can try counter spell. It's a high it, level but spell. This is a very high level spell, but yeah, it's it worth a try. Level. Yeah. Worth a try. Really to counter spell this. Okay, what do I roll? Okay, wait, let me look at counter spell. Yeah, let's bring up the spell. Spell counter spell. I think you have to make a check for this. Your spell casting ability is charisma. Charisma. Yes. Yeah. See and, uh, no, hers is charisma minus. Oh, uh, you don't have to make a roll, Raf. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So mine is just charisma check, or you have to uh, creatures. 
DC is Ability 10 plus check. the spell's level. Yeah, this is a 19. You have to beat a DC of 19. With... Hmm. I'll try it. So, try it. charisma. See charisma. Do it. That's cool. yeah. Do you have a birthday critical also? I don't. Allah. I don't have it. <laughs> okay, see charisma. I oh will. Gosh. Wish bones. I will. 19, no? 19. Do you have enough? I would like to use my. Three. Yeah, my three and may Napa na bilin nga. I wala na party wishbone. You can borrow my three because this is my life basically. So no, no, no. You can can't borrow from oh, each other. Borrow each other. It's oh, not no. borrowing. The party is the one for sharing only. Uh, <laughs> I cannot. Damn. Uh, I guess Sorry. I'm. I guess I'm dead. I guess I'm dead. I guess I'll die. <laughs> 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 Hear that meme now. Did, no! did you did oh you buy gosh. did you buy diamonds? Yes, I have three. Okay, cool, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on Rachel, in these brief moments, your heart stop starts be stops beating. Huh. You start collapsing, and you roll over, and you're dead. Final and thoughts are like you know Jonathan, hostess, you know all that shit. Yeah, your your last. Fleeting moments are host, hostess, Jonathan, and maybe the Soteris who you might see soon if no one acts quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the pressure is on, man. <laughs> I'm dead. You wonder sure. if you if you accidentally. An eye reaction. You already did what counter you spell. You did, for... yeah, you did counter spell already. Well, you uh, have not. Right. Right. And then Golgotha is going to he's going to move and he will take attack of opportunity from three of you oh no no more sentinel <coughs> uh, uh but sure that's bunny's gonna oh, no wait wait isn't he grappled still yeah he is oh, grappled. Shit, sorry yeah, yeah. Fuck you. oh bad. fuck yes fuck oh i'm so annoyed <laughs> no you piece of shit or <laughs> Of a bitch, I should have teleported. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I mean, he, he killed someone. Yeah, I slayed someone. So, Whoa. <laughs> no. okay, guys, achieve, but it's okay. I killed Top someone. Of round. Now it's round three and it's trend of third. What happened? He's easy chatting. Hold on, let me. Those are psychic in front of the ground. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, psychic so teleport to get out of it. Okay, nice, nice. Will I break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You escape from the restraints by teleporting out of them. Yeah, that's You're so good. cool. By the way, you have your legendary actions back in the put because his turn came up. Yeah. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello, guys. How Wait, many? So... Three? Yeah, you can. Yes, get it, get it, get it. You can get the dagger. You can snatch Wait, it from her. Uh, she will yeah. show it. Yeah, also, I would like to clarify, Raf. So, since before... Um... <laughs> Carlo hit... Um... Golgotha ba? Na-add na said ang majority of his name to the Kuan Kay. Ni-hit man siya twice. Yes. Yes. Right? Well, that's... All that's remaining now is Bari. Oh, so four times na lang, I think. We'll see. We need to hit him with a dagger. The drama we'll drama see. pa na. Kay, you know, di ba mohinay man ang time pa. <laughs> it takes longer to spell V-A-R-Y. <laughs> okay. I'll say a roll ni... Do I just roll a dagger, dagger and then add buns, the buns, roll. You can do that. Yeah, you can do that, Buns. And then we'll just... But lahi ang damage lang. Yeah. The Sige, damage Sige. roll. But do your attacks lang sa... Are... Do not hit. Unfortunate. Have extra sh extra sh shit. I, I rolled... That hits. Man. That one just hits. That one just hits. Nice. Let's fucking go. Go. 
Ooh, that Dang. one just hits. Uh, you saw my chat, right? Once. 2d4 plus 4d12 for a normal hit against him. Yeah. Plus gore indeed. <laughs> Ooh. 96. SX. Yes, you uh, can. Sneak attack. Yes. Yeah, sneak oh, attack. Everyone is ganging Everyone's up on Everyone's rogue. Let's Everyone's go. fucking rogue. <laughs> oh. My god. Sneak attack, a crit. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. It was only a crit because of Carlos' birthday crit. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this. Yeah. 20. Oh, that's a... not, not bad. 46. That's 229 plus 46, that's... 275. 275. Diba? Okay. How's he looking? He's looking... He's looking hot and bothered, that's what I can say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it's okay, guys. I, I'm having a good feeling. Even though it's dead, I still have a good feeling you can make it. <laughs> A very good feeling. How reassuring. Anyway, anyway guys, <laughs> after after the end of Trend of Fear's turn, um, our our best friend here will take another legendary action, and he is going to teleport away from you guys, you even bitch. from the restraint. And he yeah. is going to stand here in his in the near the throne again. Piece of shit. And yeah, that's his turn. All right, Homer, it's your turn. Let's go. All righty. It's time to finally use this feature. I haven't been using this at all ever. So I'm going to be using a bonus action to use hidden paths to teleport up to 60 feet as a bonus action. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, hmm. So... Oh, before I do that, actually, I have a question, Raph. Could I Astro Vivify through my Al Familiar using my gem as a material component? Ha! Ah. Sure. Ooh, sweet. That's actually even better, because I can save my bonus action to heal. So let's do that. Okay, so I cast Revivify. Uh, bringing out the material component gem from my bag. Um, oh, I'm holding the stuff. I'll toss the stuff to the side for a bit. <laughs> Dramatically. Yeah. Dramatically. Like with gusto. Yeah. Gusto. I need to save my friend. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my all familiar will use its reaction, and it's going to be casting. It's going to be casting the spell for me. And then I say the incantation, spring this creature back to life. And then I slam the, Chris, the diamond down to the ground, and it shatters into diamond dust. And as it does, the dust will flow towards a Vigil as it tries to revive him back to the dead. Nice. Right. Okay. Uh, Meanwhile... In, in Vigil's uh, point of view, Vigil, Carlo, are you here? Carlo. Hey, bro. Carlo, where are you? Carlo, you. Un unmute yourself. I need you to do something. <laughs> I need you to do something. Okay, there, later now. Finish your turn, Homer. What else are you going to do? Okay, while that's happening, I'm still in stasis. I am going to, instead of doing my plan of teleporting, I look at Sorka all the way here, and I use my final 8d6s from Palm of the Summer of the Shining Ball to heal her up. Nice. Oh my god, so I'm not gonna die? Not. <laughs> <laughs> or... Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. 30, nice. You heal 30 damage. So from 69 <laughs> to 39 damage. And Thank you. you have a temporary hit. There you go. Okay. Right. That's my action and bonus action. I am still restrained. That's okay. 
All right. Nice. I may roll my strength save at the end. Go. A very productive. Fuck. 18. Mm -hmm. Is this worth wish bones? I might want to. Know what? Yeah, sure. Two wish bones from me. Let's go. And you now I'm no longer restrained. We're not free. You're a free old man. I'm gonna say free woman, but no. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, oh, I just realized something. I should roll concentration for uh, Moonbeam Kanina when I took 25. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably gone. Oh, it's not gone! Amazing. Nice. That's uh, that's really the end of my turn now. That's the end of your turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next, uh, Gogatha will do another legendary reaction, but this will be he'll be burning his last one this time. So he sees what you're trying to do uh, with the Jill Gogatha, and he has his eye on you. Now. <coughs> And he is going to uh, do the finger gun motion and fire all of the Eldritch Ray's attacks at you. You're the winner. Okay. But, yeah. so... but I might miss, so we don't know. We don't know what's going on. I already yeah. used the reaction to absorb elements. Oh, no, wait. My turn passed. Okay. Let's see. Okay. See here. I do hope I actually miss. But we will see. Oh okay. Okay, okay, wait. Pretty sure that hits. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. Third beam. God. Wait, wait, wait. Huh. Okay, the lowest is 25, and that hits, right? Yeah, so I think everything hits if that's the case. I see. Bring so you on. the winner today. Yeah, I know he doesn't like me. He was, he was annoyed that you kind of undid his recent murder, so he was like, ah, maybe I'll kill you. <laughs> Okay, man, I know he's the better druid, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got 70 points of psychic damage, bro. All right. Are you okay? Tell me. Oh, okay, I see it. I am surprisingly still alive. Wow! Old man strength, I'm, guys. I'm not joking. I'm still alive somehow. Holy nice. God. Okay, um, I have to make four <laughs> con concentration checks. Here we go. Yeah. S con. 24, I think that saves. S con. 23 saves as well. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Hey! 18, I think that saves too. Oh my god. 17? Oh my god, are you serious? Fuck, man. <laughs> I maintained my concentration on freaking Moonbeam after all that. That's amazing. That is amazing. I'll give you one wish bone because that was. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so Homer getting attacked by all that psychic damage. He's clearly sweating, but his will is strong. Yeah. You know, uh, the age, the experience, and maybe his epiphany was a lie, but this goal is. True, and that will not bring him down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I just say out loud, I made a promise that I'd be going back to Athendil, and I plan on keeping it. Nice. All right. Uh, next is the lair action, guys. <laughs> oh, the lair action is still here, in case you all forgot. This is going to be the poison rain again, so everyone do a con save, please. Con save, okay. 
Let's con everybody. <coughs> Let's con. Fuck. <laughs> I think I save. This time I rolled low. Sad. I rolled a six on mine. Oh, damn it. I failed all my saves so far. No! Okay, so Trend of Fear failed too. What about DJ and... Uh... Vendetta? DJ oh. 16, Vendetta... What the other roll? Roll but... Are you there? I think so. I, sh I think she's rolling. Oh. oh no, that was winded. Okay. 24, she saves. No, that was. Oh. Ah, you the Wayne was rolling for Vendetta. Yeah. Uh, Wayne, can you also roll for Carlo? <clears throat> okay, hang on. Yo. How much HP does Carlo have? Oh, Link? <laughs> Uh, one. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, at least he's not dead. Oh, my oh, a good thing. Sure, that's true. That's true. Low... Low con score. He failed. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, he's down. <laughs> yeah, oh, no matter what the damage, it's down. Okay, I will roll the damage for another thing. This is only this is only to the eight guys. It's fine. It's just a little poison. Wow, I rolled high. Okay, everyone who failed get ten points of poison damage, except for those who passed. Okay, so ten you said? Yeah, ten. Okay. Still alive, but not looking. So the ones who passed get half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones who pass get half, so that's five. And I'm also resistant, so... Yeah, so you, you have that even more. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay, that's the end of the lair action, guys. I hope you record now all your damage. Uh, next is TJ's turn. So T what does TJ do? Mm. <coughs> Someone from a hot cannot reach Golgot. Um, I cannot reach Mr. Golgi, bro. What did you say? You were kind of uh, echoey. I cannot, I cannot reach, reach um, Golgotha. And, yeah. yeah, you can if you dash to him. This, oh, can I still melee him or will that not work? You, you, uh, you can still reach him. The the restraining thing is gone now, by the way. Actually, you guys are yeah. restrained for oh. rounds. So, uh, so you can walk. You can try to attack him, yeah. And you can try and... Uh, uh, you can also pass by, I don't know, uh, trying to fear it to like get the dagger. So you can try and stab Golgotha as well. Mm hmm okay. Uh, all right, I'll do that. Okay. Um... Yeah, so you, you actually do have to pass through the token of trying to figure out. Yeah. So here first. <laughs> and then... Uh-huh. I will dash to the Golgotha. Oh, shit. And then... So I have the dagger now. Yeah. Can I just attack a dagger. Yeah, yeah, do that. Okay. Oh. Wow, Six. look at that. Um, he hit, I think, rough 22. Nice. Got him. Yeah. Can I still so, bo bo booming blade? Yeah, you can mix booming blade with this one. Uh, okay. R to D8. <coughs> Eleven. Eleven plus six. Uh, can you also roll uh... sneak attack? Oh. No, 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 no oh. sneak attack. Just roll a one d four plus two d twelve. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. 1D4. 1D4. Carlos back now, by the way. So we'll describe this one after. And then. Nice, nice. And then. Uh, 1D4 and then 2D12. Okay. Two... Six plus. All right. So the total is 15. Uh, 26 32 32, yeah, 32 Nice, you got, you got him at 32 So that puts him at 307 Nice Okay Okay guys, you're You're there, you're there I can see it now You know, you can see it in the horizon uh, but yeah, uh, is there anything else you want to do, Tej? Mm, can I disengage? Uh, no, because no, 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 you yeah. dashed man to reach him. <coughs> but please, ah, uh, no, it's okay. Yeah, okay, everything is awesome, and uh. While that's happening, uh, Carlo, are you there? Yes, now. Because because something happened. <laughs> uh, Carlo, can you unmute? This? Can you unmute? We're, we're not hearing you. Yeah. Unless you're purposely. That <laughs> yes, hello. I went. I went. I went. BRB again. What happened? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So basically, what happened was, uh, you were dead. Yeah. And then for a few moments, you were actually. From where you were, your your spirit was in a in a basically in a gray area. Yeah. Quite literally in a gray area. Then you actually see a few of the Soteris like waiting for you and are urging you to come join them. However, among the gray area you see like a uh, a plant growing on another side and it the plant is making a sound that's getting our attention that plant is growing against this gray wasteland and this plant has like uh blooms a flower and out of the flower is like a gem a gem that you recall buying looks similar to the revivify gem that you for yourself and so yeah you have two options you can either join the soteris or grab onto that plant but grab Wait. the plant Nice. You grab onto the plant, and you are revived again. And unfortunately, a poison rain happened, and you're knocked out. You're knocked out, but you're not dead. Okay. I mean, yeah. What happens if I chose to join the Zotiris? <laughs> well, Homer, Homer put the effort on reviving me, and I'm like, yeah, nah, it's okay. It's okay. You're alive. You're alive. <laughs> so there. Meanwhile, Dust Bunny, it's now your turn. What do you do? Mm, no more restraint naman, no? Yeah, you're not restrained. Yeah. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Hang on. Uh, Hang on, hang on. How long am I not thought for? Bonus action. Until one of us heals you, hopefully. I see. Yeah. I don't okay. think I'll be able to get the turn yet, though. So, this is what I do. Dust Bunny's gonna run up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Grab the, grab the dagger from, from, um, <clears throat> Tej and, like, quickly swinging the Imperator, uh, over his back. It's on a sling. Nice. Well, he has the dagger. <coughs> uh, he no longer has movement though. <coughs> Fuck. So he will cunning action <clears throat> dash. Mm -hmm. And he will move this way. 5, 10, 15 around Golgotha. Yeah. And. He will stab, he will take two strikes at him from the back. Nice. Okay.
you got get back because teachers there. Yep, we're all rogues. Let's go. Dagger. Do I even have a dagger equipped? Hang on. Hang on, guys. You would go. Uh, uh, I do not have it equipped. Hang on, let me let me equip one real quick. Just go, go. Just so it's easier to roll. After that, and circus turn, Jesus is gonna run, and you pass the. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Let me update. A dagger. With the dagger, man. <coughs> <coughs> okay. This has nothing. No, no, no advantage. No, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Run and first dagger strike. Twelve to hit will miss. Kaput. Second dagger strike. Uh, backhand. Is that an action surge, no, my dude. Yeah, I will. I plan on doing that. Twenty-two to hit. Seven damage. That hits. I will action surge. Hey. Uh, one more dagger attack. Twenty, another twenty-two to hit, and then the last dagger attack. It's slash, backslash, uh, forward thrust, and then downward hammer fist reverse dagger. Another twenty-two to hit. Okay, I will add a sneak attack. Add. I will add favored full. I will also add uh, superiority die, a uh, trip attack. Shit. Uh, so that's R1D8. They have strength to make saving. a strength saving throw DC 17. 17. Okay, I'll do it. Might fail or not. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Roll D20. Uh, it's my last superiority die. Make it count. <laughs> you failed. Nice. You prone. are prone, bitch. Oh, no. So go, oh, little shot. master. Oh. Shit. Now that I think shot. about it, I should have done that in the beginning, so the other attacks would have been I was with advantage. The exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> no. I am. I am Shit. sleepy, and I am not optimal. Okay. It's cool, bro. Um, and uh, your extra damage from the dagger, you should add those too. Oh, right. Three three attacks, no? Yeah, Um. you already rolled the 1d4 damage from them, so just add 1d4 plus 2d12 three what? times. I already rolled 1d4 from where? From the from dagger the, attacks. Yeah, from the dagger attacks. Ah, yeah, the dagger damage. I understand. Yeah. So what do I yeah. roll na lang? Our 1d4, 1d4 plus... Plus two D twelve. I okay, got it. Three times, so that's essentially three. Oh okay, shit! There you go. Three times. Yeah. So two D four plus four four D twelve. Na lang. Yeah. Okay. And forty eight damage so far. Plus eighteen. Plus twenty seven brings it up to ninety three. Pila ako ninety three akong damage. Yeah, total. From a From dagger? This is the first time Dust Bunny has used the dagger in combat. Yes. So. Um, rough. 400 damage on Golgotha total so far. I see. So, Dust Bunny, how do you um, lethally take him down? Yes. Fuck yes. Fuck <clears throat> you. So, Dust Bunny, seeing. <clears throat> Seeing Tej charge up uh, toward uh, Golgotha, uh, swings the Imperator uh, oh, oh, behind his back, runs with his bunny bunny feet, contemplates jumping over, but decides to make a sidestep and move around Golgotha. Meanwhile, uh, revealing <laughs> that he already has the dagger. Uh, he takes a first swing, Golgotha weaves out of the way, but then Dust Bunny quickly swings with another backhand, doing one slash on Go Golgotha's side, spilling a little bit of blood. Uh, Dust Bunny says, 
Dust Bunny says, <coughs> You know what I think? And then he does a forward thrust, stabbing him in the stomach. Golgotha <coughs> coughs up some blood. I think that whoever named you, uh, and then Dust Bunny uh, removes the dagger, does uses it in reverse grip, jumps up with his bunny hop, and as he falls down onto Golgotha's head, uh, with both of his hands about to stab him uh, at the side of his neck, uh, Dust Bunny says, Whoever named you, whoosh, jump, and then going down as he as he's going down, I think they spelled cavalry wrong. Whoosh, and then <laughs> blood spews out. Jesus. <laughs> coats, coats, dusk bunny in red. <coughs> and then dust bunny stands there, uh, in this elevated area where the where the throne is. And then he raises, he he removes the dagger from uh, Adam Calvary's neck and then lifts it up uh, to face uh, his party and says, uh, and then says, uh, and then he says, and, uh, Carrot juice on me! And then, <laughs> oh, shit. Everyone is surprised by what happened, and even Ad- Adam is just choking on his own blood while stabbing him. His white clothes are now drenched completely red with his own. Oh, is he not dead yet? He is. Uh, he's describing. Dead. He's dying. dying. Okay, okay. And then Vigil wakes up, and then he he he's like holding his neck and shit. He's like checking his spine, and he walks up like kind of injured to Golgotha. He's like he points to him. You die. <laughs> Ha ha ha! He's dead. I'm beside him. Uh, we'll, we'll allow that. Yeah, Homer, you have time to heal him up and what? Yes. You can do that. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, and Dust Bunny, you look at the look at the dagger and the 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 full name of Adam Calvary is drenched in red now. And in the tablet of Vitro, his name is fully complete. You see blue energy erupting from him and just floating into the ether. And you may not have seen it, but this blue energy eventually teleports all the way to Exoria, completing completing the erasure of Golgotha's immortality. And excellent. Yeah, his soul is damned now in the afterlife for all the shit he has done. GG. And now. GG. Uh, other things are gonna happen in this throne room, but we are ending the session now, and we will stay where we are here. We will carry out where we left off. But yeah, congrats, guys! You murdered the final boss. Woo! Yay! Good job! Good job. What if he really God. wasn't bad and he was telling the truth? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Pwede na ako sad matog na ko. Everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Thank you Atikoli. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. Sorry for keeping it so long. It's so good. good man. Looking forward crazy. to the epilogue. Epilogue. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Oh, before everyone goes, wait, wait. When do when can we have the next one? I feel like next week I can't do it because of reasons. So, Mm. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Reasons is reasonable. Yeah, how does, how does November 20 sound? Does that sound okay? November 20. I think that's doable. Mm. What about the rest of you? That's doable also. We oh, um, Buns is saying November 20. I think Narco Vegas on that. What about Hello? November 19? We're... We... Our kami, we might be in Negros. I'm not sure when I'm in Negros because EJ has face to face. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll update you on guys. Yeah. Okay. One thing's for sure, it's not next week. So yeah. Okay. So tentative ang 19. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good night, Bonds. Good night, Bonds. Happy snoring. Uh, he didn't and... even hear the rest of that. <laughs>
And yeah, guys, thank you guys for playing. And sorry if it took forever. I didn't expect it to really take forever. I should. Okay, oh, Romeo, see ya. Okay, Roman, ang for a finale. It's uh, quite yeah. average. Okay. How much is the runtime? Uh, four, four hours, four, four, four T. Oh, four is forty. Yeah, that's about average for a final fight. Okay, yeah. okay. Ideally, the finale... there were two parts, dude. Ideally, the finale in the next one is like three hours at most. I hope. Yeah, yeah. You're no fighting happening. Right? Yeah, huh? yeah. No fighting happening. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, guys. Uh, maybe you can tell me what's your idea of like the final scene or what like la last scene you want to play out. You know, before we close uh -huh. the chapter on them. So. I think you yeah. have an idea based on what he was saying to the gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somewhere along those lines. Yeah, there isn't gonna be like a season two. This, like this, like the last last of your characters, unless they cameo in the other tables or something. So yeah. Cool. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will think about it and then hmm. probably DM you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just DM me what you guys think so that, yeah. Um, thank you, Rafi. Right. This was fun. Thank, thank you, Rafi. I'm gonna go and eat Nasad, so... Yeah. Same, same. Babu so Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. GG. GG. Bye. All right, do do. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Sin and Skullduggery that was uh, the penultimate episode or second to the last episode I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time much love and peace bye bye Mwah. <laughs>